is Freaky Freaky <laughs> Friday night. What is going on, everybody? We have Gigi in the building right here looking beautiful as ever. Who is in the building? Let's see who's here. We have Ant Ord is in the building. Michael M is in the building. What's going on, brother? Alistair Black, it is good to see you, brother. It is on like Donkey Kong. I have not played that in several years, but now that you bring it up, I, that would be really cool to get uh, a Game Boy, like it, like in the uh, back in the 1990s, and play some Donkey Kong. Michael M says, "I'm eyeing the gold, maybe." All right, Michael M. Well, gold has uh, hovered around 1800. Uh, it did go over and very close to the record. Uh, so it did uh, fall slightly back under 1800. It's at about 1799 right now. What's going on? Addicted to stacks. Boom! John Scott is in the house, everybody. TJ is in the building. You know it's a freaky Friday when TJ's here. Thank you guys for being here. U.S. Silver Stacker is in the house. Guys, we have a very uh, versatile lineup for tonight. An auction filled with uh, plenty of different items. We are focusing mostly on gold, world bullion, and pre-1900 foreign silver. So I'm very excited to get to it, guys. What's going on, CD? CD is in the building. Good to see you, brother. Gigi's in the house. Hello. And guys, uh, if you haven't taken a look at the auction list, you can find the link in the description of this video. And we also have the list further down in the description of the video, just in case you have trouble with the link, which does happen from time to time. As you guys enter, I would greatly, greatly appreciate if you smash that like button because, guys, I am looking forward to tonight, and I hope you guys are excited. 30 items tonight from all around the globe. The world... Uh, I must say the foreign silver has been flowing as of late, and that has always been my favorite, not just the U.S. silver, but the foreign silver and the mixture of the two. Uh, it makes for a very uh, interesting auction, I think. So I hope you guys are looking forward to it. And uh, we're going to start off with a quick mail call. We received something from Silverfish. I was not expecting anything from Silverfish. Uh, we did open it just to peek in, and we received this letter. Gigi, would you like to do the honors? Yes. Hi, Sacaplata and family. Hope you are, are doing great. I thought since Gigi claimed the last W, I said I should probably send another for you, Sacaplata. Also, I got my channel sticker then, so there is one for each of you. Thanks for all you do. Stay safe and healthy. Sincerely, Silverfish. All right. Thank you, Gigi Girl. And thank you so much, Silverfish. I was not expecting this, but not only did Silverfish give us some new slaps, Silverfish holographic style as well. Mm -hmm. So one will go to Gigi. That's one for Gigi and one for and me. For my collection. <laughs> uh, so thank you, Silverfish. And Silverfish also was generous enough to send me a W. 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 And this is the bat, the 2020 bat. How cool is that? Very, very cool. So Silverfish... You didn't have to do that, but very, very generous of you. I'm not going to let Gigi take this one from my grasp. She's going to have to steal it from the Thunder Grip, and I'm going to make sure I hide it. And Gigi, you have one, and now I have one. No, I'm giving it to Mama. You're giving it to Mama? No! No, don't take this one. Back away! Back away, young lady! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yes, Silverfish, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for the kind uh, gesture. And guys, if you haven't connected with Silverfish, make sure you hop over to Silverfish's channel and give a subscription. 
tell him I sent you. I am so appreciative, and it was such a pleasant su surprise. So thanks once again, Silverfish. Hopefully, I'll be able to see uh, Silverfish later on the stream. What's going on, Rita? Rita is in the building, and it is Friday night, Rita. So grab your, your drink of choice, your snacks, whatever it is you guys like. Put it next to you, and let's enjoy the night. Breeze is in the building. What's going on, Breeze? How are you and the family doing? Hope all is well. Speaking of family, Mama Palata is in the building, everybody. Hi, Mom. Mom is here live on Friday night, the World Coin Auction. Hope you're doing good, Mom. We'll probably stop by at some point during the weekend. Uh, but you know tomorrow night is the big fight. So maybe not tomorrow night, but uh, maybe uh, Sunday we'll be able to see you guys. So uh, it's good to see you, Mom. And Gigi just ran to the uh, to the bedroom, so I, I don't believe she saw that you were in here. But I'll make sure to let her know that you're here. All right. So let's take a look here. Alistair says, ground her. I will never do that, Alistair. She's just joking around. Uh, Gigi does have her own W, so I'll, I'll be able to hang on to mine. Usually, if we get a W for the first time, the 2020 bat, for instance, then, uh, you know, it's she gets first dibs on a lot of the things. She's the president, the captain, the general. So that's Gigi for you guys. And Henry is in the building. What's going on, Henry? Henry, you're going to like tonight's jackpot prize. Because tonight, for the Sock Up Lot, the Jackpot, and the Stream Giveaway, we have a 1921 Morgan Dollar. And this will be going to someone tonight. 1921. And there's the S mint mark there. So we will be giving this away for the Sock Up Lot, the Jackpot, and the Stream Giveaway. There are three ways to enter. Uh, for every auction item you win, you get one entry into the jackpot. And uh, the more the more auction items you win, the more entries you receive. The second way is to win an in-chat game. We play many games throughout the stream. And uh, if you win one, you will gain two entries into the jackpot. And number three is to win the random comment picker drawing. So we do have a link for the random comment picker. Uh, it is in the description of this video. Uh, so if you click on that, it will send you to the previous auction from, uh, I believe it was last Sunday. So make sure you guys uh, click on that link so that you can be entered in for a chance to win this 1921S Morgan dollar. And LAP, what's going on, LAP? It is good to see you. LAP was streaming the other day. I was able to pop in and say hello. Hope you're doing well. All right, let's get some clarity here. Usually when I push the button, we get some clarity. There we go. Guys, we have a 10-ounce bar scheduled for tonight. This is an Aztec calendar bar, and it is absolutely glorious. Tyler is in the building. What's going on, Tyler? Tyler's bringing in the Tyler Raid. Kane Henson, thank you for joining me. All right, guys. We have 21 people in the chat. Once again, the auction list is in the description. If you guys are new, you need to verify uh, your account in order to participate. So how do you register the bid? It's simple. All you do is send a $1 verification payment to NY at gmail.com. And uh, that is a refundable payment. So if you don't purchase anything, we will refund that payment to you. But you will be verified going forward on any auctions. Now, if you uh, would like to participate, uh, shipping is $4 for five ounces or less. And it is $8 for six ounces or more. However, if you do have a wallet account, shipping is free for the duration of your active wallet account. Coins USA is in the building. What's going on, Coins? Thank you for joining me. Rockzilla is in the house. Rockzilla asks a very important question. How do I pay a pal? Simple. All you do is send it to SockaPlapaNY at gmail.com. Once again, that's SockaPlapaNY at gmail.com. We're going to have to 
pump the Sakaplata email a lot more throughout the streams. <laughs> Silver Sax is in the building. Silver Sax is, I came in at the end of that. What was that email? Sakaplata NY at gmail.com. Gold Miner's in the house. Gold Miner says, I'm freaking out on this freaking Friday. It is Freaky Friday night, and I am fired up. The ginger ale is here. I am ready to rock and roll. Are you ready? Press one in the chat if you want me to zip it and get started on the auction. Once again, guys, make sure you comment on the uh, free stream giveaway comment link. That will enter you to win for a chance to win the 1921S Morgan dollar. You can also win games in chat or win an auction item. All right. Thank you, Michael Lem, for putting the giveaway link in there. So make sure you guys go over and click on that link, leave a comment, and you will be entered. We will be playing some games throughout chat, and we're going to get started with the first item on the list. Now, we start with the appetizers and then the entrees, but make sure you guys save room for dessert because we have a loaded dessert menu tonight. All right, here we go. First item on the list is a 1931 Honduras 20 centavos, 90% silver coin, weighing in at 2.5 grams. So there you have it. It is in circulated condition. Starting bid is $1. $1 starting bid. It's a nice design on there. You know, they're not particularly rare, but they have been elusive for me personally. Honduras uh, silver is not something I get a hold of often. We have hidden at two, Roxilla at four. Roxilla at four, looking for five, five. Do we have five? Hidden at five. We have hidden at five. What's going on, hidden? I did not see you uh, earlier, so if you were hanging out, sorry I missed you. We have hidden at five, and we're looking for six for the 20 centavos from Honduras. All right, we have hidden at five. Going once. Going twice now. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, Hidden. I am so sorry to hear that. Uh, my condolences to your friend and his family. You know, it's uh, definitely a, a very tough time uh, to begin with. So I can only imagine how, how hard that is. So uh, Hidden, uh, I'm sorry for your loss. My condolences. And hopefully uh, being here tonight will help you slightly take your mind off of that and you can enjoy your night. Easier said than done. But hopefully you can uh, continue to hang out with us tonight, Hidden. We have Holly Webb at six. We have Rita at seven. Rita at seven looking for eight, eight. Do we have eight? And there is someone else that also lost someone uh that I was uh, aware of earlier today. I do not want to say their name, but they did lose someone also. So uh, definitely a somber, very uh, sad day. Uh, plenty of rain here in New York. Uh, and I like to think that that's the, uh, the heavens crying down on us. So, uh, you know, my condolences to both members. What's going on, Dave? Dave is in the building. Thank you for joining us, Dave. I'm sorry, uh, I don't want to get too down in the dumps, but I do want to acknowledge how difficult it is, you know, to lose someone close to you. So once again, Hidden, I'm here for you, brother. Feel free to reach out. And we have Rita at seven going once. Going twice now. 
And Dave Kenworthy is in the building. Thanks for joining us, Dave. All right, we have Rita at seven looking for eight. For the 1931 Honduras, 20 centavos, 90% silver. And we have a sniper alert, but for cover. Holly Webb coming in with the snipe at nine. We have Holly at nine looking for 10, 10. Do we have 10? Holly at nine just getting her bid in before the sold button. And LAP says raining in upstate New York as well. LAP, it has been raining for hours. And, uh, you know, Gigi had a play date earlier, so I was running around. I had to drop her off and pick her back up. But um, I was happy to do it because it's very important that she has that interaction and that time with her friends. But, yes, definitely it's been pouring all day pretty much here in New York. And we have Rita at 10. Rita at 10, looking for 11. Going once. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Going twice now. This is a 1931 from Honduras, and we have a sniper alert, sniper alert, duck for cover. Holly Webb getting her bid in at 13. Holly Webb at 13. And what's going on? Donald's Fishing. Thank you for joining us, Donald. It is Friday night. Hope you're enjoying your Friday so far. Appreciate you joining us tonight. And we have Holly at 13, Rita at 14. So this looks like it's something that's missing in a world collection. Uh, Honduras, maybe that's a, a country that you need checked off your world coin collection list. Let's see who wins it. We have Rita at 14, looking for 15. Going... Once. What's going on? Dennis Stewart is in the building. Good to see you, brother. How, how's your Friday going so far? Going twice now. Donald says, I lurk around, but I never bid. And Donald, whether you choose to bid or not, we're happy to have you here. You can sit back, relax, and just enjoy, or you can take part however you see fit. All right, let's take a look here. We have Rita at 14, looking for 15, and Sniper Alert, Holly Webb at 16. This is the opening item, guys, and Holly Webb and Rita are going to war for the 1931 Honduras 20 centavos, 90% silver. Dennis says, it is awesome now that I am here. Oh, thank you so much, Dennis. We are happy to have you here as well. I've been looking forward to this since... We finished Tuesday night stream. I woke up on Wednesday morning saying, uh, you know what? I could stream right now, but uh, there was some work to do. So uh, I'm happy that Friday has quickly approached and we are here. We have Holly Webb at 16 going once. Going twice now uh yes tj i think it was just a uh a misunderstanding there i don't I, I think you're good tj i think uh donald uh said that he uh he interpreted it as a rude comment but we're all good here no worries guys we have rita with the snipe at 17 back and forth they go Back and forth they go. Read at 17, looking for 18, 18. Do we have 18? Going once. Going twice now. We have Rita. At 17, and we are looking for 18, but we're not done. Why is that, you ask? Because Hollywood has just sniped it at 20. 
Back and forth they go. Back and forth they go. This is item number one out of 30 items, and Holly Webb has it at 20. We're looking for 21, 21. Do we have 21? And Henry says, awesome means large. A big happy familia here with soccer. That's right, Henry. Absolutely. You know, I look forward to these streams. Uh, you know, we only do it twice a week. I can definitely see myself doing more streams in the near future, but I definitely get uh, fired up and excited to see you guys on stream. So thank you guys once again for being here. And Holly Webb has it at 20, and Rita is out. Going once. Going twice now. We have Holly Webb at 20. We are looking for 21. All in. All out. Last call. And sold to Holly Webb for $20. Congratulations, Holly. That was a hard-fought victory between you and Rita, two very strong independent women. Thank you guys for being here. And Holly, you will receive the first jackpot uh, entry of the night. And that is jackpot entry number one. Jackpot entry number one, which coincides with lot number ones. And it is in there. What's going on, Will? Uh, no, Will, it, uh, this was a 1931 from Honduras. So although the mintage is pretty high, you have to take into account uh, there's a lot of silver, not just U.S. silver, but specifically foreign silver that is melted every day down in the Diamond District. And uh, that's why foreign silver has a special place in my heart. So congratulations to Holly Webb. Holly, we are going to add that to your wallet. We did send out your package, uh, but we can, we're going to restart your wallet here. Holly Webb. All right, let's reactivate that wallet. <laughs> All right, here it is, Holly. And it is in there. All right. All right, guys, before we get into item number two, we have 26 people in the chat, which means it's a perfect time for a game. Game time. And once again, the jackpot prize for tonight is a 1921S Morgan dollar. 1921S. That is the jackpot prize we will be giving away at the end of the stream. I'm going to enter the first game of the night into the chat. Once you uh, see the question, you can begin. First person to guess correctly will win two entries into the jackpot. All right, here we go. A word that rhymes with stack. A word that rhymes with stack. First person to guess correctly will win two entries. All right, here we go. We are looking. We are searching. We are trying to find. Can we locate the right answer? What's going on, Chris Roman? We have a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. What's going on? Robert Worley's in the building, guys. Thank you for joining me. We have a winner, guys. Let's see here. That's right. We have a winner, winner, chicken dinner. So stop in the name of love before you break my, my live chat here. All right, let's take a look. We're verifying. All right, let's take a snapshot. I always like to show it on the uh, screen. That way you can see what I see. All right, here it is. The winner 
is Will Hornbuckle. Snack. Snack is the correct answer. And snack, hopefully you have plenty of snacks by your side, guys. It is Freaky Friday night. You have to have the snacks within arm's reach. All right, and here's the confirmation. We have Will, face reveal. And there we have it, Will with snack. So congratu uh, congratulations, Will, as I bit my tongue there. <laughs> Will Hornbuckle. Your entries will be number 33 and number 38. So good luck. Number 33 and number 38 for Will. And it is in there. And Holly, your jackpot number is number one. So for the auction items, what I like to do is I like to uh, uh, coincide the entries with the lot number. So you won lot number one. So you get entry number one. All right, next up. Now, I did get a W quarter courtesy of Silverfish, a 2020 bat. But we do have a W quarter on tonight's auction. This is the River of No Return, W. W. Starting bid is $1. And this is the condition of the coin that you are bidding on. Please take a good look. Looks to be possibly either an ender in a row or in a circulated row. I wouldn't see it getting anything higher than the 64, but uh, you guys be the judge of that. We have Chris at 8, Breeze at 9, Henry at 10, looking for 11, 11, do we have 11? 10, looking for 11, 11, do we have 11 for the 2019 River of No Return, W, W, and Cha-Ching is in the building. What's going on, Cha-Ching? How's your Friday going so far? And Frey is in the house. Good to see you, Aunt Frey. It is a Friday night party, guys. I am glad to see each and every one of you guys. Thank you for joining me tonight. Will says, what is that big bar in the middle of the screen? That is a 10-ounce Aztec calendar silver bar, Will. And that will be up for grabs on tonight's auction. We have Breeze at 15. Breeze at 15. Looking for 16. 16. Do we have 16? And there are a couple of, uh, well, a lot of these items, we start the bidding low. But there are a couple that I've started extra low. And I'm very curious to see if uh, what that uh, turns out to be. We have a very, very rare foreign silver coin on the auction menu tonight, guys. And it's only starting at 10 bucks. So I'm very curious to see what that turns out to, uh, or where that ends up going. We have Cha-Ching at 17. Breeze at 18. 18, looking for 19, 19. We have 19. We have a back and forth battle here. This is a 2019 W River of No Return. Once again, guys, make sure you take a close look at the condition. And we have Breeze at 18 going once. Going twice now. We have Breeze at 18, and we are looking for 19. All in. All out. Last call, and so to Breeze for $18. Congratulations, Breeze. You just won a 2019 River of No Return W, W. But wait, there's more. You also receive jackpot entry number two for a chance to win the 1921S Morgan dollar. All right, Breeze, we're going to add this to your wallet. Congratulations. And let's see here. There it is. It is in there. All right. 
Let's take a look here. Did I miss anyone else coming in? Kennedy's in the building. I know I missed someone. Kennedy is in the house. How's your Friday going so far, Kennedy? Thank you for being here. All right. Next up, item number three. Item number three is a 1964 one peso, 10% silver with a weight of 16 grams. Starting bid is $1. You see some nice toning developing there on the coin. We have Ant Frey at one, LAP at two, LAP at two, looking for three, three. Do we have three? 1964. That uh, Mexican. Silver design is always cool with the snake in the mouth. We have Rita bumping it to 10. Rita at 10, looking for 11. Do we have 11? 10, looking for 11. Lem. Do we have 11 for the 1964 Mexico? Un peso, 10% silver coin. And weighing in at 16 grams. There you see. It also has the uh, beautiful markings on the brim all right going once read it at 10 going twice now What's going on, Noel? And Henry with the sniper alert. Don't for cover. Henry coming in from the grassy knoll. $11. Henry is the front runner now at 11. Looking for 12. 12. Do we have 12? And Rita has already made it known that she needs it for her collection, which is often a recipe for a battle. And we have Henry at 11. Looking for 12. Going once. And Rita goes, oh, Henry, 14. 14, looking for 15. Rita at 14, looking for 15 now. That's right, Henry. Uh, the W quarter has 2 million per design, which does seem high, but it is very low in comparison to what a normal uh, normal Washington uh, quarter is minted. There are hundreds of millions of Washington quarters minted. So the W quarter is much lower mintage in comparison. Uh, let's see here. We have Rita at 14 going once. Going twice now and that was in reference to w quarters just in case anyone's coming in uh in the middle of the combo and what's going on mikey 007 uh yes i did mikey i did find the foreign silver that was missing from the last auction uh we're putting it right back on the auction list tonight 1844 uk six pence we have rita at 14 looking for 15 all in all out. Last call. And sold to Rita for $14. Congratulations, Rita. That is a new addition to your collection. Hard fought and well deserved. And Rita, you get jackpot entry. Number three, jackpot entry number three. It is in there. And Noel says, I like your ultimate grab bags. I'll do something like that. Noel, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, you know, I did put quite a bit of work into the new concept, uh, but it is such a fun concept, concept for me personally. So I'm glad and I'm relieved that you guys enjoy it as well and we'll keep it going we did finish batch number one uh so batch number one is completely finished we will work on ultimate grab bag batch number two which will also be 15 pounds 
So uh, if you're not familiar with the new concept that we introduced uh, two uh, Tuesdays ago, then take a second to check out the channel. We do have two streams for the ultimate grab bag for you to uh, take a look at to see if uh, that way you can understand what the concept is all about. All right, so Rita, congratulations. And yes, Rita and Holly and Breeze setting the tone on the auction for the ladies. No pressure, fellas, but the ladies are running the table right now. All right, speaking of tables, do you like this nice wooden table here? It is glorious to look at. All right, Dennis says, get to it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Lot number four. Lot number four, we have an uncirculated 1964 Kennedy half dollar. There is some toning developing on the coin uh, on the left side of Kennedy's face. And we have CD at five. And Alistair has his eyes set on one specific item. I'm curious to see what that is, Alistair. We have CD at seven. Seven looking for eight, eight. We have eight. Once again, this is uncirculated. These were one of the 1964 Kennedys that was found in that epic, epic estate lot. Uh, it was found in a bag. It was actually a bag full of uncirculated 1964s. And it was in the floorboard of a kitchen. Uh, they were doing a clean out and they located that along with uncirculated silver quarters, which was one of the biggest sites I've ever seen. All right, 1964, we have Rockzilla at 10. Rockzilla at 10, looking for 11, 11, do we have 11? Rockzilla at 10, looking for 11? Going once. Going twice now. 1964. Kennedy half dollar. We have Rockzilla at 10. We are looking for 11. All in. Oh. Out. And we have a sniper alert. Breeze coming in at 11. Breeze at 11. Looking for 12. 12. Do we have 12? What's going on, Michael Mercer? Good to see you, Michael. Hope all is well with you and Mrs. Mercer. Breeze at 11. Looking for 12. 12. Do we have 12? Going one. That's right, Ann Frey. This happened several months ago. We actually uh, put up a picture, uh, you know, during one of the streams. And, uh, you know, these guys, they do uh, clean out. So basically, they strip the house down to its bones. Usually, it's when a house forecloses or something like that. They do rubbish removal and clean out. And they're often finding items. But never did I ever see a score like that before. A mint bag of 1964 Kennedys. I will never forget it. And maybe one day, if we're lucky, we'll be able to come across some treasure like that. We have Rita at 12. Rita at 12. Looking for 13. 13. We have 13. Once again, a 1921 S. Morgan dollar is also on the line for the end of stream giveaway. What's going on? Scott Jarvie is in the building. How's it going, Scott? It is Freaky Friday night. Are you guys getting rain over by you as well? Because we are getting tons of it. We have Rita at 12. Going once. Going twice now. We have Rita at 12. Looking for 13 for the uncirculated 1964 Kennedy half dollar. Oh, Lynn. All out. Last call. And sold. 
to Rita. Congratulations, Rita. You have won your second item of the night. That is $12. And Rita, you will also receive jackpot entry number four. Jackpot entry number four. And it is in there. All right. Uh, so, Aunt Frey, I did not know uh, the people that were doing the rubbish removal, but I knew the person that knows the people. So uh, he's the one that called me, said, you got to come into the shop and take a look at what my guys just brought in. And when I went in there, I was not expecting what I saw. But guys, you know, I mean, I've shown this picture several times on stream. It is way further down in my uh, gallery or else I would try to pull it up for you guys to see. But you know, it's it's not something that you see every day, especially you know, considering it was from a it was a mint bag of items. So I'm trying to see if I can locate it. We're gonna uh, let's see here. Gibby's treasure is in the building. What's going on, Gibby? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well on this Friday night. All right, here it is. Here is the picture. This is this is what was found. And guys, I know I've spoken about this several times, but there are uh, people that have not seen this before. And guys, these were these are beautiful. The only reason I did not put BU on here was because uh, of the toning and you know. It was in a mint bag, so there was some sliding around there. But, uh, you know, this is something magical right here. So that's something that I probably will never see again. But I hope I'm wrong. I hope I do encounter something similar to that. All right. So, Rita, let's put this in your wallet. All right. Game time, 35 people in the chat. So let's play a game for two entries. A U.S. state. Go. A U.S. state. The first person to guess correctly will receive two entries into the jackpot. That's right, Aunt Frey. It's, it's like a movie almost. All right, let's take a look here. Who will guess correctly? We have a winner, 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 chicken dinner. Stop in the name of love before you break my heart. We have a winner, my friends. We have a winner. And that winner is... Addicted to Stacks. Arizona is the correct answer. Arizona, congratulations, addicted to stacks. You will receive two entries into the jackpot for the for a chance to win the 1921S Morgan dollar. That is the end of stream giveaway. That is the jackpot prize for tonight. And your entries are number 41 and number 56. All right, and they are in there. Good luck. What's going on, D-Dub? D-Dub is in the building, everybody. Good to see you, D-Dub. All right, now this coin, this next coin, is the coin that I could not locate on the previous auction. It just had legs of its own, and it found its way back into the bag of foreign silver. I don't know how. But it is on the list tonight. This is an 1844 United Kingdom six pence Victoria. This is the first image or design. And this is 0.925 silver. And the weight is 2.83 grams. So there you see it. And this is the condition of the coin, 1844. It is in rough shape, guys, so keep that in mind. 
But 1844, 1844 is a long ways away. And we have Holly Webb at 12, 12 looking for 13, Mercer at 14. We have Michael Mercer at 14, looking for 15, 15. We have 15. And Rita at 15. We have Rita at 15, looking for 16. Now, I apologize for not getting a mintage on here, but I could only imagine how difficult it is to locate these in good condition. We have Rita at 15 going once. Going twice now. This is an 1844 UK six pence Victoria. 0.925 silver. That's sterling silver. And sniper alert. We have Holly Webb at 13. Uh, excuse me, at 17. Looking for 18. Holly Webb at 17. Looking for 18. Rita coming back at 18. 18. Looking for 19. 19. We have 19. And the females tonight have been running the table on the auction. We had Holly win item number one. Breeze won item number two. And Rita has won the last two items. And she's looking for three straight. Rita at 18, looking for 19, 19. We have 19. Going once. Going twice now. We have Rita at 18 for the 1844 six pence from the United Kingdom. Oh. Linda for cover. Holly Webb bumping it to 21. Holly Webb bumping it to 21. Rita does not bat an eye. Rita comes right back at 22. And here we go, guys. Get the popcorn. Get your beverage of choice. This is going to be interesting. We have Rita at 22 looking for 23. Will Holly rebuttal? Going... Once going twice now. This is an 1844 UK six pence Victoria sterling silver with a weight of 2.83 grams. Rita at 22 looking for 23. Oh, Lynn. All out. Last call. And so to Rita for twenty two dollars. Congratulations, Rita. That is your third straight win. And you will receive jackpot entry number five. Jackpot entry number five for Rita. And it is in there. All right. Let's add this to Rita's wallet. And guys, the end of stream giveaway is a 1921S Morgan dollar. So if you haven't yet commented on a free stream giveaway link, make sure you do so. You can find the description. You can find the link in the description of this video. All right. And just like that, we're through the appetizers and we are on to the entree. So hopefully we're all warmed up. We know the ladies are warmed up. And here we go. Entree number six. This is lot number six. First on the entree menu. We have a BU, or should I say uncirculated, 1946 Washington silver quarter. Now, the strike on this is not uh, as strong as the 1964s that you have seen on previous auctions, but it is still a very, very nice Silver quarter here. We have Chris Bremen at eight, looking for nine. Eight, looking for nine, nine. Do we have nine? 
take a closer look here. And you can see, you can see that the strike is not as uh, clear, uh, as strong as the 64s. And we have TJ coming in at nine. TJ at nine, looking for 10, 10. Do we have 10? Nine, looking for 10, 10. Do we have 10 for the 1946S? Washington Silver Quarter in uncirculated condition. Going once. Going twice now. And we have a sniper alert. Silver Sacks getting in on the action at 10. Silver Sacks at 10. Looking for 11, 11. Do we have 11? TJ coming back at 11. 11 looking for 12, 12. Do we have 12 now? For the 1946S Washington Silver Quarter. And can you tell that I've had ginger ale before the stream? It is true. The Canada Dry ginger ale has been opened. And we have TJ at 11. Going once. Going twice now. We have TJ at 11, looking for 12 for the uncirculated 1946 S Washington Silver Quarter. All in. All out. Last call. And sold to TJ for $11. Congratulations, TJ. And TJ has set the uh, tone for the gentleman on the auction tonight. TJ is the first male winner on tonight's auction as the females have, have run the table through the appetizers. So shout out to Holly, Breeze, and Rita. And now shout out to TJ getting in on the board at 11. So TJ, congratulations. You will also receive jackpot entry number six for a chance to win the 1921S Morgan Dollar. That's right, guys. We are giving away a 1921S Morgan Dollar at the end of the stream. And the jackpot entry is in there. So TJ, good luck. Kennedy says, my heater just caught on fire. Thankfully, I was out in the garage with it. Wow, you have to be uh, careful, Kennedy. Uh, the, the, those heaters are definitely a uh, cause for concern, especially in uh, New York City. I mean, you cannot imagine how many of those portable heaters catch fire in a New York City apartment, specifically in Queens. So uh, that is a, an issue that we often deal with. Uh, uh, generally, when the weather is much cooler, but you get you get the uh, drift. And TJ says, give the coin to Hidden Numismatist. Sorry for your loss. Meant nothing by the comment. It's just what we say here. TJ, I don't think Hidden was offended. I can't speak for him, but I'm pretty sure he was not. And TJ, that is an awfully kind gesture of you. So let's make a note here. We're going to give it to Hidden. So what I do is I normally just enter it into your wallet until uh, payment is taken care of. That way, I'll know where exactly I can find the coin, and then I'll make that transfer. So uh, we do have a note here. 1945S. Give to Hidden. And we did ship out your package, so your wallet is currently empty, but we'll, we'll keep it in your wallet for, for the time being. And you are welcome to reactivate your wallet if you choose. Jeff Brown. What's going on? Jeff Brown is in the building. Good to see you, Jeff. Hope all is well. Hope you're enjoying your Friday so far. I'm happy to be on stream with you guys. And 1946 goes to Hidden, courtesy of TJ. So how cool is that? All right. We're going to put that in TJ's wallet.
All right, bear with me, guys. All right, there it is, and it's in there. All right, TJ, there's your wallet, and your uh, the item for hidden is in there. All right, next up we have a 1904 Barber half dollar. We have Kennedy at four, Reed at five, five looking for six, six. Do we have six? 1904 Barber half dollar, and we have Chris at seven, just edging out Henry. Chris at seven looking for eight, Holly bumping it to nine, nine looking for ten, ten. Do we have ten? For the 1904 Barber half dollar, Henry taking it to 12 now. 12, looking for 13, 13. We have 13. What's going on, Brad Burge is in the building, everybody. Good to see you, Brad. Scott Jarvie getting in on the action at 13. Scott at 13, looking for 14, 14. We have 14. 1904. You're not going to get the Liberty on there on the headband, but still easily G condition 1904 very clear reverse as well we have Henry taking it to 18 now Henry at 18 looking for 1919 we have 19 these 1904s uh, have a nice solid strike on them as well and Rita at 20 Rita at 20 looking for 21 21 do we have 21 for the 1904 barber half dollar henry taking it to 21 back and forth they go back and forth they go silver sax is out he says good luck and rita at 22 head to head battle between henry and rita for the 1904 barber half dollar and we're going to take a pause after this uh item before we get into the constitutional silver, uh, the next four items will be a chance to obtain some constitutional silver. I do want to revert back to a specific item. Uh, so after this, we will revert back to an item just before getting into the constitutional silver. We have Henry at 23 now. Back and forth they go, back and forth they go. Henry at 23, he says he needs it. Kennedy is out. Henry at 23, looking for 24, 24. Do we have 24? Going once. And Rita says, out for you, Henry. Rita showing mercy on Henry. How does that feel, Henry? <laughs> we have Henry at 23. Going twice now. This is a 1904. Barber half dollar. All in. All out. Last call. And sold to Henry for $23. Congratulations, Henry. A hard-fought victory, and Rita was uh, nice enough to pull her foot off the pedal a little bit. And Silver Sack says, is that how it works? He's going to keep a mental note for the next time that he's battling Rita. <laughs> Silver Sack says, that's all I needed to say. All right, congratulations, Henry. And you will receive jackpot entry number seven for a chance to win that 1921S Morgan dollar and it is in there. All right. Then it says no backsies. Um, I just wanted to make a couple of items available. Uh, I did forget to pull it out here. So um, let's add this to Henry's wallet. Let's take a look here. I'm going to pull out Henry's wallet. And then we will get to all right, Henry. It is in there. All right, just a quick glance at your wallet, Henry. We did uh, ship out your last package, but you do have an item in there. I believe that's a Morgan dollar, if I'm not mistaken. It is. 
an 1889 million dollar. All right. Now you have the Barber half dollar to keep Morgie Moore company. All right. So uh, for lot number four, we had the uncirculated 1964 Kennedy. Now, Rita did win that with a price point of $12. I happen to have three more. So, Rita, you'll get the first crack at it. If you want to add an additional 1964, let me know. If anyone else is interested, they are $12 a piece. Uh, that was the bid that Rita won the item for. So these are all uncirculated. There's some, some toning developing on this one. So Rita, let me know. If not, it is perfectly fine. But I did forget to extend the offer after item number four. So they are going for $12 a piece. And remember, guys, you will receive a jackpot entry. You will receive a jackpot entry if you choose to uh, to purchase one of these. That's the new uh, rule that we have in the... Uh, in the auctions going forward. I did mention it on Sunday night's auction. So this is the auction where we will make that a reality. And International Stacker is in the building. International Stacker says, I would like to bid my kidney the left one. You might need that one, IS. You might need that one. All right, let's take a look here. Thank you for joining me, IS. Uh, TJ has interest, Breeze has interest. Rita has interest, and Scott Jarvie has interest. Uh, Holly Webb also has interest. So here's what I'm going to do. I do have more available. They're just not flipped. So uh, let's do this here. We have Rita for one more. We have Breeze. We have Holly, we have Scott Jarvie, and we have TJ. All right, each one of you uh, has just agreed for a buy it now at $12 a piece, and you will get the jackpot entries to enter the soccer plot, the jackpot, which we will be giving away a 1921 S Morgan dollar. That is the end of stream giveaway for tonight. And the more entries you have, the more of a chance you have to win. So uh, let's see. We have one for Rita, one for Breeze, one for Holly, one for Scott, and one for TJ. Let me know if I missed anyone. And if I missed your name, just give me a heads up. All right, hitting that offer uh, will be active throughout the stream. So uh, definitely, that is perfectly fine. All right, let's take a look here. We're going to add the jackpot entries. So Rita, you will get an additional entry. That is jackpot entry number 50. So Rita, you will get jackpot Entry number 50, uh, your last, let's see, for your, uh, so here are your items, here are your entries, you have three, four, five, and 50 because of the buy it now, we have Breeze, you will be getting entry number 34, and it is in there, we have Holly Webb, Holly Webb, you will get jackpot entry number 59. It is in there. Scott Jarvie, you will get jackpot entry number 40. It is in there. And TJ, you will get jackpot entry number 39. All right. And there it 
is. What's going on, Nathaniel Lee? He says, hey, do you need any moderator for your stream chat? I'm here to help. Nathaniel, thank you so much. I really do appreciate that. Uh, I would love to see you more on stream. Uh, that way, usually after a few times, I do hand the wrench out. But uh, thank you for joining us tonight, and thank you for offering to help. That's pretty cool. I really appreciate that. And Darren Lowe is in the building. What's going on, Darren? All right, guys, let's move on to some constitutional silver. We're going to start with Rosie Dimes. Rosie Dimes. Adam A is in the building. How's it going, Adam? It is Freaky Friday night. I hope you guys got your ginger ale. We love ginger ale. Oh, that is good. All right, so... 10 rosy dimes. We are bidding on 10 rosy dimes. We have hidden at 15. Hidden at 15, looking for 16. And the winner of each auction item also receives a jackpot entry for a chance to win the 1921S Morgan Dollar. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And... 10. There we have it. 10 rosy dimes. That's $1 face. What's going on? And order. We have hidden at 15. Going once. Going twice now. We have hidden at 15. Look at the 16, 16. Do we have 16? All in. All out. Last call. And sold to Hidden Numismatist for $15. Congratulations, Hidden. You get the $1 face value for 15 times face. That's $15. For 10 rosy dimes, but wait, you also receive jackpot entry number eight. Jackpot entry number eight. And it is in there. International Staffer says, How am I supposed to get things for under spot if you keep bidding it up? <laughs> yeah, International, uh, that's something that we're constantly looking for for spot value or under spot, although it doesn't happen very often for me. It does take me a, a lot of uh, wholesale purchasing to get spot prices. It is doable, but it's hard to find, especially now. But uh, I'm sure you have better luck than I do. All right, so Hidden, we're going to add this to your wallet. And guys, if anyone else wants $1 face value in Roosevelt Silver Dimes, let me know. Hidden, you're welcome to add additional face value. If not, you can just put one for $1 face. If you want more than one, just put the amount that you like. And that goes for anyone. It is $15 for 10 rosy dimes. Uh, so remember, if you do choose to purchase, if you do choose to purchase, you will receive a jackpot entry as well. All right, so let's pull up Hidden's wallet here. And ah, yes, hitting us with a, a blind bid for five dollars. Let's see here. We're gonna pull up Hidden's wallet. All right, here's your wallet, Hidden. You can hear the silver in there. Not much. There's foreign silver as well. And we're gonna add the silver dimes. All right, uh, Scott Jarvey would like uh, one at 15 times face. So Scott Jarvey, we're gonna put you down here. And that's a buy it now one. So you will receive 10 rosy dimes and you will receive jackpot entry number 49. Jackpot entry number 49 for Scott Jarvey and it is in there. 
We also have a buy it now from Henry. Buy it now, and your jackpot entry will be number 46. So there you have it, Henry. All right, what's going on, Maximus Silver Stacker? Good to see you, brother. All right, next up is Washington Silver Quarters. $1 face value. That is four Washington Silver Quarters. We have a starting bid of, uh, let's see here, Henry at 15. 15, looking for 16, 16. Do we have 16? Bubs is in the building. What's going on, Bubs Delicious? Thank you for joining us tonight on this freaky, freaky Friday night. Hope you're doing well. We have an auction tonight, a world coin auction, 30 items, and you can find the, the list in the description of this video. If you have any further questions, feel free to ask. We are putting up $1 face value. That's four silver quarters. Uh, up for bid right now, and Henry has it at 15. 15, looking for 16, 16. Do we have 16? Going once. Going twice now. We have Henry at $15, looking for $16 for the $1 face value in Washington Silver Quarters. All in. All out. Last call. And so to Henry for $15. Congratulations, Henry. You will also receive jackpot entry number nine for a chance to win the 1921S Morgan Silver Dollar. And it is in there. All right. So let's get $1 face value for Henry. And Henry, if you would like more, let me know. If you want just a $1 face, put $1 face. If you want more than that, just enter the amount that you would like. We're going to add the $1 face here for Henry. And we're going to add the Washington, uh, the Roosevelt Silver Dimes for Henry from the previous one as well. And that goes for anyone. If you want the uh, Washington Silver Quarters at 15 times face. And Henry says, ship the tube. All right, so that's $10 face value for Henry. We're going to ship the tube for Henry. And Henry, that's going to give you 10 jackpot entries. 10 jackpot entries for, for Henry. Uh, let's see. We have Alistair says, hey, Soccer Block, we got an idea. Why not at the beginning of the auction show chips 1 through 30 and drop them in the container? Would save time. People would know they are in. Just got to save the number. That's an excellent idea, Alistair. Uh, I definitely will do that going forward. Uh, it would save the time of adding the entries. So 1 through 30 will always be in the box going forward. Thank you for that idea, Alistair. I, I really appreciate that. That will help move things along. But, hey, I'm in no rush either way, guys. It is Freaky Friday, and you know we enjoy ourselves here. So uh, we're going to add 10 rosy dimes to uh, Scott Jarvie's wallet at his request. So let's put this in Scott Jarvie's wallet. All right. And so Henry V, we're going to put uh, for the Washington Silver Quarters. The whole tube, so that's we're gonna put buy it now nine because you already won the one. And Jeff Brown says, No rush. All right, addicted says, I will take one of those deals. All right, addicted, we're gonna get you down here as well. So let's uh, first we're going to add the uh, rest of the roll to Henry. 
And once we get through the constitutional silver, we'll pick, pick up steam, guys. But I do want to make sure that I am thorough here. All right, so Henry, you get the entire roll. That is $10 uh, face. And we have Addicted to Stacks as well. But before we put Addicted to Stacks on the list, we're going to get the 10 entries for Henry. So, Henry, I'm going to get you 10 entries, and I will enter them into the jackpot box. So bear with me here. Henry, you have entries number 54, 60, 36, 70, 58, 37, 53, 47, 51, and 42. That is 10 entries for Henry V. And Henry, there you have it. It is in there. All right. And addicted, we'll get you down here. For buy it now. $1 face. And you will receive jackpot entry number 76. All right. Addicted. Let's add the $1 face. Uh, no, Henry, I do have everything written down, so you can sit back, relax, and just enjoy. All right. <laughs> Henry's falling asleep. All right. Wake up, Henry. Wake up. CD is bored. Wake up, CD. Get the beverage. Get a snack. Get some ginger ale. That always helps me. All right. Here we go. Next up is $1 face value in Merc Dimes. Dimes. $1 face value in Merc Dimes. Starting bid is $10. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'm seeing Henry first at 15. Henry at 15, looking for 16, 16. Do we have 16? Henry edging out Hidden and TJ. And Bubs coming in at 16. Bubs at 16, looking for 17, 17. Do we have 17? We have $1 face value in Merc Dimes random date. Bubs at 16. Going one. Going twice now. We have Bubs at 16, looking for 17 for the one dollar face value in Mercury Dimes. All in, all out. Last call. And so to Bubs for $16. Congratulations, Bubs. That is your first auction win on the Soccer Plot, the channel. I really appreciate you being here. And we are going to get you down here on the queue. That is uh, $16 for Bubs. And, Bubs, you also get jackpot entry number 10. So we do have a soccer block, the jackpot format that we use for our coin roll hunts and our auctions. And basically what it is is uh, jackpot prizes. Every uh, auction win tonight receives one entry into the jackpot, which is right here to the right of me. There you see Mickey Robs Banks on the jackpot box and Silver Nitrate and Noco as well. And we will drop the entry in. It is in there. All right. So, Bubs, you have an, uh, the option to create a wallet to waive shipping on future auctions, or we can just have this sent right out to you. It is completely up to you. You let me know what you would like to do. We're going to uh, bag it and tag it for Bubs. That is $1 face. And 
Bob's wants to buy a tube. You are welcome to buy a tube. So that would be uh, $5 face. So we will get you down here for $5 face. All right, $5 face times 16 will get you a total. And uh, that also means you will receive an additional nine entries. All right, and if anyone else would like Merc Dimes as well at the uh, $16 price point, you're welcome to, uh, to add $1 face or as many as you like. So that's five dollars face value. All right, Bob, you got it. All right, let's get you your nine entries here. All right, we have addicted. Addicted wants in. I'm sorry, that is uh that is five entries, excuse me. Five entries. So we gave you the one entry. You will receive four more entries. It is one dollar. Yes, sack of flops, indeed, Rockzilla. <laughs> we have overload here with the Canada Dry. All right, so that's Bubs. And Bubs, you will get number sixty-one, number sixty-four, number eighty-two, and number forty-four, along with entry number ten. So there we have it. And it is in there. All right. We also have addicted. Addicted wants to buy it now. One. So we're going to do that for addicted. What's going on, Silverfish? Silverfish, thank you so much for the uh, letter you sent me. We did do a, a quick mail call shout out at the beginning of the uh, stream. So thank you, Silverfish. I was not expecting that, but I made sure that Gigi does not snatch it out of my Kung Fu grip. So thank you so much, Silverfish. Very generous and kind of you. And uh, that will stay in my collection. I will hide it from Gigi, I promise. All right. So let's see here. We have Dennis wants a bite now for... Rockzilla. Yeah, I said, wait a minute. That's not $10, face. <laughs> All right. We have Holly Webb wants a buy it now one. Once again, guys, if you want a buy it now for the $16 price point, $16 for $1 face. Oh, okay, Dennis. Got you. Dennis, let's cross Dennis out. All right. So we have Holly Webb and Addicted. So addicted, you will get jackpot entry number 84. And Holly, you will get jackpot entry number 43. 43 for Holly. All right, Holly. Good luck. All right. Next up, we have $1 face value in Franklin half dollars. One dollar face value and Franklin half dollars. Starting bid is ten dollars. And 1952, 1953, 1954, and uh, another 1952. We have Henry at 15. Henry at 15, looking for 16. Henry at 15, looking for 16. And we have Rockzilla at 15 and a half. Oh, yes, that's right. <laughs> These aren't quarters, bubs. These are not quarters. I promise. I promise I will get it together. <laughs> All right, Rockzilla has retracted. So we have Henry still at 15. And Henry, you wanted to buy it now as well. All right, Henry, I apologize. I did not get that in there. So we will 
add that as well. At the buy it now one, and your jackpot prize will be 60, uh, 69, your entry. Entry number 69 for Henry. All right, we have Henry at 15 going once, going twice now. One dollar face value in Benji's. All in. All out. Last call. And so to Henry for fifteen dollars. Congratulations, Henry. Fifteen dollars. For one dollar face value, and you know the drill. Let me know if you want just a one dollar face, or if you want any additional, and we will add that. You will get jackpot entry number eleven, and it is in there. All right, and and D Dub wants buy it now. Two dollars face. Let's take a look here. All right, D Dub. Uh, we have Henry at ten dollars face. So Henry wants to roll. And Henry, that means you'll get nine more jackpot prizes. So Henry's gunning for that 1921S, and he is in the driver's seat right now. We also have uh, D Dub for a buy it now two. So, D-Dub, you will get jackpot entries number 45 and number 48. And bear with me, guys. Uh, we also have Addicted. We'll buy it now. Buy it now, one. And Addicted, you will get jackpot entry number 94. This is new. So, uh, let's see here. 94. This is just to uh, give more incentive when people do want to uh, buy more on the price that they won. They will have an increased chance to win the jackpot prize. All right. And Henry, we'll get you nine more entries. We're going to read the nine more entries. All right, CD, you have a great night, my friend. CD said you all have a good night. We will see you on the next one. All right. So nine entries for Henry. All right, number 52, number 35, 97, 87, 32, 31, 55, 79, and 74. What's going on, Mickey? Mickey is in the building. Rockzilla wants to buy it now. $1 and... Rockzilla, you will get number 90. All right. So there we have it. Now that we have that all sorted out, it is in there. We're going to take the roll. We're going to put it in Henry's wallet. All right. And we have Brad. Brad wants in as well. That is $1 face for Benji's. And Brad, your entry is number 77. All right, there we have it. All right, guys, I thank you so much for your patience. We will find a better way to execute this. That way it doesn't hold up the auction uh, list too much longer. So we're going to move on here to lot number 12. Lot number 12 here is a quarter ounce Incuse Indian two round lot. So it is the pair. You are getting the pair of quarter ounce 
MQ's Indian three nine fine silver rounds, and this is a starting bid of ten dollars. We have hidden at ten. Hidden at ten. Looking for eleven. Eleven. Do we have eleven? Once again, this is the pair of quarter ounces. And Bob's at eleven. Bob's at eleven. Looking for twelve. Twelve. We have 12. And Frey and Henry are both going to Vegas. Very nice. Are you guys going to Vegas together? <laughs> we have Rita at 12. Rita at 12, just edging out Chris. Bob's coming in at 13. Bob's at 13. Looking for 14, 14. We have 14. And Mickey's having a surprise Sunday auction this week. Just picked up some gold. We love the gold. Uh, yes, I do, Bubs. I do have additional, so uh, this will be available for a buy now afterwards as well. And we have Rita at 15. Rita at 15 for the pair. 15, looking for 16, 16. We have 16. Uh, Fifteen, looking for sixteen. Do we have sixteen? Going once, going twice now. We have Rita at fifteen. We are looking for sixteen for the pair of quarter ounce NQs Indians. All in, all out, last call, and sold to Rita for $15. Congratulations, Rita. That's $15. You will also receive jackpot. Entry number 12. So let's add this to your wallet. Congratulations. And yes, jackpot entry number 12. And Bubs wants four of them. So confirm, Bubs, that you want four quarter ounces. Uh, that would be 30 total for the four of them. All right, we have Bubs at a buy it now. And Rita, you're welcome to uh, add additional as well if you are interested. All right, let's take a look here. We have Bubs. Buy it now. Two. So you will get two entries. Two more entries into the jackpot for a chance to win the 1921 S Morgan dollar. That's entry number 80 and entry number 57. That's 80 and 57. And Bubs, they are in there. All right, guys. Next up. All right, Rita wants two more. So we're going to add Rita. All right, now, so two more Incuse Indians or two more pairs, just to clarify. And Gigi's in the building, everybody. Oh, Gigi's tooth came out. Gigi, you're bleeding, girl. You have to rinse that out. Gigi's tooth just came out live on the stream. Can I see that lucky tooth? We have a lucky tooth here, guys. Starting bid is $1. One looking for two, two. <laughs> Here you go. Mrs. Flop is in the building. All right. Bob's wants it. <laughs> I think they just bet, bid 15 on your two. That is awesome. Gigi's going to not only receive a, uh, a visit from the two fairy, she's going to receive a visit from the silver fairy. <laughs> All right, Bob says 
Let's see what Bubs has said here. Can I get one more pair? Okay, so that's a buy it now three. Please confirm, Bubs. Buy it now three. That will get you an additional entry as well. All right, two Indians. So that's one more, Rita. So you will get entry number 89. What's going on, Silver Shark? All right, Bubs, just confirm. That is a molar indeed, Michael Lamb. That's a big one. <laughs> that happened just now, guys. You never know what happens on the soccer block auction. All right, let's see here. Um, Silverfish says, by the way, I received my wallet. What an awesome collection of coins. I was super stoked to open it, and it came after I went uh, for yesterday. Thank you so much. Oh, you're very welcome, Silverfish. I'm. Um, I hope you enjoy your items, and thank you so much for supporting the channel. And addicted says, I will add one dollar to my auction total for you to give to Gigi. That is very, very sweet of you, addicted. Thank you so much for that. I'll make sure to keep. I mean, to give it to her. <laughs> I'm gonna keep that one dollar. I'm gonna hold it hostage. I'm just kidding, DG. Don't choke me out live on the stream. All right, we have Bubs. Oh, we have Bubs. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have Bubs. Yes, that's correct, Bubs. I have you down here for three. And you will get an additional entry of 83. All right. Silver Shark is in the building. All right, let's move it along, guys. We have... Item number 13. Item number 13 is a 2019 S Silver Guam 39 Fine Quarter. I mean, face reveal, face reveal. This has a perfect score of 70, and it's ultra cameo as well. It is indeed a gorgeous coin. We have Hidden starting us off at... Uh, we have Bubs uh, uh, starting us off at 10. Just edging out Hidden. We have D-Dub at 11. D-Dub at 11. Look at 12, 12. We have 12. As Gigi watches in suspense with one less tooth than she had five minutes ago. We have Bubs at 12. Mickey at 13. Mickey at 13. Look at 14, 14. We have 14. Hidden coming back at 14. Bubs taking it to 15. 15 looking for 16. 16. Do we have 16? We have a battle royale for the 2019 Guam 39 Fine Silver Proof Ultra Cameo. We have D Dub at 17. D Dub at 17. Looking for 18. 18. Do we have 18? Bubs taking it to 18. 18 looking for 19 now. 19. 19. Do we have 19? It is gorgeous. I mean, I'm a fan of the Guam design to begin with. So this Ultra Cameo is really doing my eyes justice. Where's 19? There it is, Gigi. Right on the bottom. Oh, I thought you meant there's a bid. Oh, no. The uh, bid is at 18. Yes. We have Bubs at 18. Looking for 19, 19. We have 19. Going... Once. Going twice now. And Silverfish with a sniper alert. Duck for cover, everyone. Silverfish from the clock tower. Firing off a $19 bid. 19, looking for 20, 20. Do we have 20? Bob's coming right back at 20. Rita just getting her bid a little bit in behind Bob's. So we have Bob's in the lead at 20, looking for 21. Rita taking it to 21, 21, looking for 22, 22. Do we have 22? Back and forth they go. Back and forth they go. Bob's at 22, looking for 23 now. I mean, imagine what the uh, five ouncer looks like in person. Anyone have the five ounce 2019 Guam? Silver Sacks at 23. Bob's taking it to 24. 
24, looking for 25, 25. Do we have 25? Henry has the uh, five-ouncer. That is awesome, Henry. And we have Silver Sacks taking it to 25. Silver Sacks at 25, looking for 26, 26. Do we have 26? Back and forth they go. Who will come out on top for the Proof 70 Ultra Cameo? Graded by NGC. Silver Sacks at 25. And Bubs coming back at 26. 26, looking for 27 now. Going once. Going twice now. We have Bubs at 26, looking for 27. 27, do we have 27? And Silver Sacks is out. All in. All out. Last call. And we have a sniper alert. Duck for cover. Addicted to stacks coming in at 28. Right when I was going to enter the sold button in chat, we have addicted to stacks at 28. Looking for 29 now. A battle royale. For the 2019 Guam. And Rita is out. We have addicted at 28. 28 looking for 29. Going once. And Bubs coming back at 29. Bubs at 29 looking for 30 now. 29 looking for 30. 30. Do we have 30? This is the 2019 Guam 39 Fine Silver Proof 70 Ultra Cameo. Bubs at 29. Going once. Going twice now. The suspense. The anticipation. All in. All out. And duck for cover, Mrs. Flapper. Look out from the clock tower. We have addicted at 30, but Bubs does not even flinch. Bubs has some heavy artillery herself. She comes back with a $31 bid. Bubs at 31, looking for 32, 32. Do we have 32? You have to keep a head on a swivel on these auctions, guys. Plenty of sniper fire to go around. Going once, going twice now. We have Bubs at 31. We are looking for 32. All in, all out. Last call. And sold to Bubs for $31. Congratulations, Bubs. That's $31 for a absolutely gorgeous three nines fine silver proof. And you will also receive jackpot entry number. 13 jackpot entry number 13 and it is in there all right so congratulations bubs let's uh bag it and tag it and we will have a buy it now we have 20 available i'm just kidding guys we do not have any more slabs available all right all right, before we get into item number 14, it's game time. Here we go. We will play a game for two entries into the jackpot for a chance to win the 1921S Morgan Dollar. First person to guess correctly will win. A country that begins with the letter B. 
A country that begins with the letter B. First person to guess correctly will receive two entries into the jackpot. All right. We have a winner. Stop in the name of love. We have a winner, guys. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Let's take a look here. We are going to confirm. All right. And the winner is gold miner gold miner congratulations the answer was brazil and you were correct my friend so gold miner you will get two entries into the jackpot and those entries are 96 and 91 96 and 91 and we will enter those into the jackpot good luck all right, all you need is to be in it to win it. All right, guys, we're going to move on to a very cool uh, lot number 14 with a low mintage alert of only 219,237. This, my friends, is a 1952 Sweden five kroner, 40% silver. With a weight of 22.7 grams, we have Holly Webb starting us off at 10. Holly Webb at 10. Look at 11, 11. Do we have 11? And Hidden coming back at 11. 11, look at 12, 12. Do we have 12? That's right, D-Dub. I think you just have to shake off the rust a little bit. I'm sure you'll win one soon. And that is a beautiful Coin with some nice toning developing on it as well. We have Silverfish at 12. Rita coming in at 15. Rita at 15. Looking for 16. 16. We have 16. And Hidden at 16. We have Hidden at 16. Looking for 17. Once again, this is a 1952 Sweden 5 kroner 40% silver coin. And Hidden at 16. Going once. Going twice now. We have hidden at 16, looking for 17, and we have 17. Sniper alert, Dr. Cover. Rita coming in at 17. Hidden is out. Rita at 17, looking for 18, 18. We have 18. Hidden almost had it. He says, unbelievable. And Rita at 17, looking for 18. Going once. Going twice now. We have Rita at 17. We are looking for 18 for the 1952 Sweden. All in. All out. Last call. And... Sold to Rita for $17. Congratulations, Rita. You have won a very cool 1952 Sweden 5 kroner. Low mintage as well. So congratulations. Bub says, have to take off soon, but we'll shoot you an email later. Oh, that's perfectly fine, Bubs. You can send it to sockablathany at gmail.com. I knew exactly what you were doing, Bubs. You set me up for that one. You throw the alley-oop. I finish with the slam dunk. So let's add this to Rita's wallet. Congratulations, Rita. You will receive jackpot entry number 14. All right. And it is in there. Now, guys, this next coin is very interesting. The, the condition of this coin is very poor. I'm going to tell you that right off the bat. But one thing I will tell you is this coin has a low mintage 
of 8,743 on planet Earth. This is in 1817 L, France, half franc Louis the 18th. And guys, this is the condition of the coin. If you flip it, you can see the year. You can see the L mint mark. And you can see the half franc. Now, guys, look this up because this, my friends, is a sleeper of the auction. We have Hidden starting us off at 10, Alistair at 11, Holly bringing it to 15, 15 looking for 16, 16, we have 16 for the 18, 17 L. And that is the key. The L mint mark is what separates it from the rest. There are lower mintages for other mint marks, but this mint mark is a low mintage in itself. We have Holly at 15 for the 1817L. <laughs> That's right, Henry. That is a rough coin, guys. So keep in mind of the condition. It is as rough as you can get without, uh, you know, without the date being visible. The date is clearly visible there. All right, we have Holly. At 15, we're looking for 16. Going once. Going twice now. Now, I've seen these for in VG condition go for about 30 plus. We have Holly at 15. We are looking for 16. All in. All out. Uh, so I did do the research on this, Rita. You can find information on Numista and on ngccoin.com. 1817L is not something that you will see uh, in the uh, in the 1817 list of coins, but uh, in Numista they do have a detailed description there. Last call. And we have a sniper alert. Rita with a $17 bid at the very end. $17 bid for Rita. Rita at 17, looking for 18, 18. Do we have 18? 17, looking for 18 for the 18, 17 L. So we have 17 looking for 18 for the 1817. Say that 17 times fast. We have Rita at 17 going once. Going twice now. Rita at 17, looking for 18, 18. We have 18 for the 18, 17. L, France, half franc, Louis, the 18th, 90% silver. Mintage of 8,743 on planet Earth. All in. All out. Last call. And so to Rita for $17. Congratulations, Rita. You know, it's in bad shape, but this is a very hard coin to find. 1817L, half franc. Congratulations, Rita. We are going to add that to your wallet. And I think that's a very, very good deal for you, Rita. Congratulations. 
you will also receive jackpot entry number 15. All right. All right, we're going to keep things flowing here. We're going to move on to item number 16, which is an 1885 Morgan dollar. However, it does appear to be clean. I think there's no question about it. Uh, so here's the 1885 Morgan. Starting bid is $20. And Dennis, thank you so much for your help, brother. Starting bid is $20. The capsule is included. And Silverfish says, bad shape and hard to find info on the fly, but some are for sale for a lot more than 17 That's right, Silverfish. Uh, they are very, very rare coins. This, however, is not a rare coin, but it is a Morgan dollar, 1885 Morgan dollar. Henry starting us off at 20. Henry at 20, looking for 21, 21. Do we have 21? D-Dub taking it to 21. 21 looking for 22. Henry back at 22. 22 looking for 23. Silver Sack says, since the capsule is included, 21. That's right. You have to add the $1 for the capsule. I think these capsules with the black cost a little bit more uh, than the original, than the regular ones that we are used to. But uh, we have Henry at 22. Going wands and Silver Sacks coming in at 23. 23, looking for 24 for the 1885 Morgan dollar. It is cleaned, my friends. This is a cleaned coin. I did not do it on my own. That's for sure. I don't know who would clean a Morgan dollar so violently and viciously, let alone at all. But uh, to each his own, I guess. We have Alice's... <laughs> <laughs> Alistair says he had G. That's who cleaned it. No wonder I woke up in the middle of the night. Gigi was uh, with a toothbrush. Oh, no, that's because she uh, lost her tooth. We have, and that's a dad joke. We have Silver Sacks at 25. There is some there is some uh, heavy scratching on here, uh, Henry. Let's try to get you uh, close up to the best of my ability. I've seen worse, but uh, you can see that there pretty clearly. And we have silver sacks at twenty five going. Wants going twice now. We have silver sacks at 25, looking for 26, 26, and Henry with the snipe roller duck for cover. Henry sniping it at 26. Henry at 26, looking for 27. Silver shark coming in just a little bit late. We have Silver Sacks at 27. Silver Sacks at 27. Looking for 28, 28. We have 28. Silver Sacks, Silver Shark, and Henry all fighting for the 1885 Morgan dollar. We have Silver Sacks at 27. Silver Shark, you might be just on a slight delay. Silver Sacks at 27. Going... Wands going twice now. We have silver sacks at 27, looking for 28 for the 1885 Morgan dollar. It is cleaned. All in and a sniper alert. Henry places his final bid at 28. Henry at 28, looking for 29, 29. Do we have 29? How close was that sniper alert? We have Henry at 28 going once. Going 
twice now. We have Henry at 28, looking for 29 for the 1885 Morgan Dollar in cleaned condition. All in. All out. Last call. And so to Henry for $28. Congratulations, Henry. It is not a pretty coin. But it is a Morgan, do Morgan dollar nonetheless. Not a Morgan daughter, but a Morgan dollar. And you will receive jackpot entry number 16. And it is in there. All right, Henry. All right, let's get right into item number 17. Item number 17 is a BU... 2020 Canadian Maple Leaf, and it is in beautiful, beautiful condition here, guys. Let's just let's just uh, take a look here. I'm going to keep it so that I can handle it by the brim, guys. But it is in great shape. All right, here we go. There it is. BU49 fine silver here. We have Henry at 22. 22 looking for 23. So beautiful. It's so pretty. I'm blinded. We have Silver Fish coming in at 23. Silver Fish at 23. Looking for 24. <laughs> Brad and Henry. We have Silver Fish at 23. Looking for 24 for the 2020. Maple Leaf. Going once. Going twice now. So bright. We have silver fish at twenty-three dollars for the twenty twenty Canadian maple leaf. And Scott Jarvey coming in at twenty-four. Scott Jarvey at twenty-four. Look at the twenty-five. Twenty-five. Do we have twenty-five? Silver fish coming back at twenty-five. Silver fish at twenty-five. Look at the twenty-six. Twenty-six. Do we have twenty-six? For the BU 2020 one ounce Canadian maple leaf. Going once. Going twice now. And this is the only one I have available here. And we have silver fish at 25 looking for 26. All in. All out. Last call. And so to silver fish for $25. Congratulations, silver fish. That is, uh, it's been quite some time since I've seen a Canadian maple leaf go for that uh, low of a price on an auction. So congratulations, silver fish. Very nice deal there. 
And let's get you down here. Your first win of the night, that's $25. And uh, you will also receive jackpot entry number 17. And there it is. All right. Silverfish. We can reactivate your wallet if you like. Let's uh, tag this coin. We're going to put it in a flip, and then we're going to tag it. All right. Silverfish. $25 for the 2020 Maple Leaf. All right, we have it in the flip for you, and we have the tag. Congratulations, and we will reactivate your wallet. All right, next up, item number 18. Item number 18 is the ever so popular one ounce Envela Murder Hornet. Three nines fine silver. Starting bid is $20. And we have Hidden taking it to 25. Hidden at 25. Alistair at 26. We have Alistair at 26 looking for 27. 27 that we have. 27. Hidden coming back at 27. Alistair coming in at 28. Back and forth they go. Back and forth they go. Alistair at 28 looking for 29. 29 that we have. 29. Hidden at 29, Alistair at 30, hidden at 31. Back and forth they go. What a battle we have here for the Murder Hornet. Alistair at 32, hidden at 33, Alistair at 34. This is incredible. Back and forth they go. Head to head battle. We have Alistair at 34 and hidden at 35. Alistair coming back at 36. What in the world is happening? We have a head to head battle, hidden versus Alistair. That escalated very quickly, and Hidden is out. Hidden is out. We have Alistair at 36. Going once. Going twice now. That's right, Silver Sacks, alleged murder hornet. We have Alistair at 36, looking for 37. All in. All out. Last call. And sold. To Alistair for $36. Congratulations, Alistair. But wait, we're going to knock it down uh, to $35. And if and hidden, if you want it at $35, you can have it at $35. You know what? Let's see here. We're gonna put uh, Alistair here. Congratulations, Alistair. You will get jackpot entry number 18. And it is in there. Alistair says, that is my last auction. I hope that's incorrect, Alistair. We would love to see you on auctions. Whether you can bid or not, or whether you choose to bid or not, it is always great to have you on the stream. So uh, let's see here. Hidden, let me know if you want it at 35. We're going to knock that down to 35 for Alistair. And if anyone wants one at 35, we can do that as well. All right, let's put this in Alistair's wallet. It is in there. All right, guys, we're getting right into the next item. Item number 19 out of 30 items. We have 
the 1978 Mexican uh, 100 pesos. That's 100 pesos. This is 72% silver. Rubble, you just missed the murder hornet, my friend. You just missed the murder hornet. Alistair was the winner. We have D Dub at 20. D Dub starting us off at 20, just edging out hidden. D Dub at 20, looking for 21. 21, do we have 21? Rockzilla at 21. 21, looking for 22. Brad taking it to 22. Let's flip it to the reverse here. D Dub at 23. D Dub at 23, looking for 24. For the 100 pesos from Mexico, 1978. This is 72% silver. D dub at 23. Going once. Going twice now. We have D dub at 23. We are looking for 24. And Michael Lem says a lot of people don't know that Sakaplapa had this exact hairstyle. So the secret is out. <laughs> D dub at 23, looking for 24. All in. All out. Last call. And so to D Dub for twenty three dollars. Congratulations, D Dub. Oh, what are you doing, Gigi? What is going on? The ladies of the house are distracting me right now. <laughs> you guys. 23. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I will turn this camera off right now. <laughs> $23. Congratulations, D Dub. You will also receive jackpot entry number 19. And it is in there. All right. All right, D-Dub, we're going to add that to your wallet. Jimmy's in the building. What's going on, Jimmy? Jimmy says, just pop in by to say hi and hit the like. Hope the fam family's doing well. We are doing great, Jimmy. Thanks for asking. Hope you're doing well as well. Well as well. All right, we're going to add this to D-Dub's wallet. All right. So D Dub, congratulations. Let's pull up your wallet here. And there it is. And it is in there. All right, guys. Item number 20. Item number 20 is a 2011 American Silver Eagle. 2011 American Silver Eagle. You're bidding on just one, but if you do win, you'll have the option to obtain more. Starting bid is $20, $20 for the American Silver Eagle. We have Henry at 20, uh, excuse me, Henry at 21. Henry at 21, looking for 22, 22. Do we have 22? And we have Scott Jarvie at 22. Scott Jarvie at 22, looking for 23, 23. Do we have 23? D-Dub says, Saki, sneaking in while I'm sleeping. How you keep getting my wallet? I send Gigi in, uh, you know, stealth mode to acquire it, D-Dub. You know she's a ninja. We have Scott Jarvie at 22, looking for 23. Henry at 23. 23, looking for 24, 24. Do we have 24 for the 2011 American Silver Eagle?
going once. And we have D-Dub coming in at 24. D-Dub at 24. Look at the 25, 25. Do we have 25 for the one ounce American Silver Eagle 2011? Silver Fist says, I just remember that I used to use foreign coins to buy snacks at school. Lunch ladies loved me. I think they were into coins. I racked up $35 bill doing that. Yeah, the foreign coins, you know, they're they're very particular. Not everyone is into foreign. I, I actually enjoy foreign silver. All right, we have D-Dub at 24 going one. Going twice now. We have D Dub at $24 for an American Silver Eagle. Could he do it? Oh, Maximus with the sniper alert. Maximus coming in at 25. 25 looking for 26. Sniper alert. Duck for cover. I did not see that one coming. Maximus at 25, looking for 26 for the 2011 American Silver Eagle. Going once. Going twice now. We have Maximus at 25, looking for 26. All in. All out. Last call. And sold to Maximus for $25 in American Silver Eagle. Congratulations, Maximus. You can't be mad at that, that's for sure. You will receive jackpot entry number 20. And Maximus, the only question that I have for you is how many would you like? We have five available. We have five available. So Maximus, how many would you like? If you want just the one, put one. If not, you can put how many you would like. We're going to enter entry number 20 into the jackpot. All right. You got a great deal on that, Maximus. Congratulations. All right. Let's see here. And Maximus says four. So Maximus. We're going to get you uh, four here times four, and you will get three more entries into the jackpot. And those entries are number 65, number 72, and number 93. As the girls are playing dress up here to the left of me. The distractions. I cannot believe my daughter's 10 years old. All right. And it is in there. All right, Maximus. That's 20, 65, 72, and 93 for Maximus. All right. Next up. Item number 21 is a BU... 2020 one ounce South African Krugerrand. So let's pull that up for you guys to take a look at. South African Krugerrand. And here it is. And we have hidden at 20. Just edging out Henry. We have hidden at 20, D-Dub at 21, 
Brad taking it to 22, just edging out hidden. We have hidden at 23. Brad taking it to 24, 24, looking for 25, 25. Do we have 25? Aaron coming in at 25, kicking the door. And what's going on, brother? Good to see you. Hope you're enjoying your Friday night so far. Aaron at 25, looking for 26, 26. Do we have 26? We know Aaron's here for the foreigns. Aaron, we have some very nice foreigns. Uh, we had a, a bunch earlier on, but we still have a couple as well. Aaron at 25, looking for 26, 26. Do we have 26? Going once. Going twice now. And Frey is out. We have Aaron at 25, looking for 26 for the 2020 one ounce South Africa Krugerin. All in. All out. Last call. And sold to Aaron for $25. Congratulations, Aaron. A great deal on that. Not only did the American... Oh, and Rita came in at the very end trying to snipe it. I apologize, Rita, but the bid did not uh, register before the sold button. So congratulations, Aaron. And I apologize, Rita. But Aaron, you will receive jackpot entry number 21. And it is... In there. Very good deal on the Kruger and Aaron. And we are going to add that to your wallet. So let's pull out your wallet here. Your wallet is empty, but no longer. Now you have the Kruger in. All right. Congratulations. All right, before we go on to the next item, we're going to play a game here. But uh, let me just get this situated. Did want to make sure I add the American Silver Eagles into Maximus's wallet. All right. All right, it's game time, guys. It is game time. Here we go. I'm going to put a statement in the chat. And if you guess the correct answer, you will win two entries. A precious metal. Go. A precious metal. First person to guess it correctly will win. And I'm going to need uh, the snapshot here for that one. And, oh, the spelling was not correct. Boom, we have a winner. Stop in the name of love. We have a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. We have a winner, and that was a close one. Now, Alistair, you had it, but you spelled it incorrectly, my friend. I apologize, but the winner is... Henry, congratulations, Henry. The answer was platinum. So, Henry, you will receive two more jackpot entries. And those entries will be 67 and 75. 67 and 75. You just edged out silver sacks. And it is 
in there. All right, Henry. And let's take a picture. Uh, let's show the picture. So, Alistair, there you were. Let me get a close-up here. There it is. And then towards the bottom, we had Henry just edging out Silver Sacks. Sorry, I can't get too much of a close-up on there, but there it is. All right. Yeah, so just a flip of the U and the N, Alistair. All right. Yeah, so he, he uh, just switched over. It was P-L-A-T-I-U-N-M instead of N-U-M. But that's a common error, especially when you're trying to get it in a hurry. All right. All right, guys. Next up is the second and final Morgan Dollar of the night. This is another cleaned Morgan Dollar, so I do apologize. We will put some higher quality Morgans up on the next auction. This is also cleaned. It's a 1900 from Philly. Starting bid is $20. We have Henry at 20. So you can tell by the vertical uh, hairline scratches on the cheek and around the fields here and the uh, on the coin. And they can either be horizontal or vertical. <laughs> TJ says, you have a cleaning factory. I do not like clean coins personally. Uh, I definitely don't encourage that. But, uh, you know, there are many pre-1900 clean coins out there. And it's unfortunate but that's why it's so difficult to find, for instance, a seed of Liberty half dollar without any issues uh, because they're, you know, that's just what they did. They cleaned their coins. They weren't educated to the fact that it would damage the coin. And, you know, as we learn and we grow, we find out more information about how cleaning a coin could affect the value of such a beautiful piece of history here. We have TJ at 24. TJ at 24, looking for 25, 25. Do we have 25? Going once. Going twice now. Alistair says, you've heard of sleepwalking. Sokka suffers from uh, sleep cleaning. Wouldn't Mrs. Flop I'd love to hear that, Alistair? <laughs> and we have Silverfish at 25, Henry at 26. Rita says they used to oil coins as also. Yes, that's right. They would they would try to polish up the coins and uh, different. You know, there were just a number of different things that people did to coins. They they used to put holes in them so that they can carry them. On their wear them on their neck or wear them around their belt line, belt line. We have TJ at 27. TJ at 27. Look at 28, 28. We have 28. That's right, addicted. It still does have the uh, silver content. It, it's not worn. It's just unfortunately cleaned. And we have TJ at 27. Look at 28. Going once. Going twice now. <laughs> Silverfish says Saka Limpia. <laughs> I'm going to use that. I'm going to say, listen, Mrs. Plata. I can go by Saka Plata, but just say Saka Limpia, and this whole house will be. Spanking clean. 
We have Henry with the sniper alert. Henry at 28, looking for 29. 29, do we have 29? Henry at 28, looking for 29. Going once now. Going twice now. We have Henry at 28 for the 1900. Morgan Dollar. It is cleaned. We are looking for 29. All in. All out. Last call. And so to Henry for $28. Congratulations, Henry. You have added to your total here, and you will receive another jackpot entry. This is entry number 22. So congratulations, Henry. It is in there. All right. That is $28 for Henry. We're going to throw that in your wallet to accompany the other Morgan dollar and the rolls that you have there of silver, constitutional silver. And it's a great time to be racking up on silver as the prices continue to creep up there. Uh, it did get as close to 1900 as you can imagine before dipping down slowly. But guys, it's holding at 18 right now, which is something that it has not been able to do for long. So we have to keep monitoring it. Definitely showing signs that it may eventually pass 19. Only time will tell. All right, guys. Next up is item number 23. A BU 2020 one ounce Britannia. Three nines fine silver. The starting bid here is $20. Aaron says, Congrats, Henry. Make that thing look pretty. Yeah, it's definitely a coin uh, that you can, you know, play around with and figure out. You know, if it's already scratch, uh, scratched or, or cleaned, then uh, you might as well experiment with it. And we have hidden at 23. Hidden at 23. Looking for 24. 24. Do we have 24? Brad at 24. Just edging out Ant Prey. Brad at 24. Looking for 25. 25. Do we have 25? And Silverfish coming in at 25. Silverfish at 25. Looking for 26. 26. Do we have 26? For the 2020 Britannia. Going once. Going Twice now. We have Silverfish at 25. We are looking for 26 for the one ounce. Britannia, three nines, fine silver. All in. All out. Last call. And sold to Silverfish. And once again, Rita does not get the bid in in time. And I do want to snapshot this, Rita. That way you can see I do apologize. That is the second time. That means I need to slow things down a bit just to account for any lagging. So I do apologize. But we do have to. Abide by the sold. So I apologize, Rita. I will slow things down just a bit. That way we can uh, give some extra time for the lag. And uh, congratulations, Silverfish. 
great deal on that as well. That is $25. And you will receive jackpot entry number 23. And it is in there. All right, Silverfish. All right, let's take a look here. <laughs> TJ says, last call. That's right. I'm just going to extend the last call for an extra four seconds. All right. Well, we're going to make sure to give enough time for the uh, lag for this one. Because next up is item number 24, a BU... 1922 piece dollar. These dollars are amongst my favorite designs on US coinage. Peace dollar, Standing Liberty, and the Barber are my favorite designs, but the Peace Dollar is the top dog. We have Henry at 21, hidden, uh, I'm sorry, Henry at 20, hidden at 21. It in that 21, looking for 22, 22. Do we have 22? And the luster on this is absolutely gorgeous. We have TJ bumping it to 30. TJ bumping it to 30. Let's take a look at the reverse here. I mean, very nice luster here. TJ at 30, looking for 31, 31. Do we have 31? Addicted says, I hear last call on my dreams for a night or two after these auctions. <laughs> you know, maybe you guys can uh, have a recording of it, you know, to get the, uh, the monotone. It's kind of a relaxing last call, or at least I think, in my opinion. <laughs> All right, there we have it. TJ at 30. Going once. Going twice now. We have TJ at $30. And we are looking for 31 for the BU 1922 piece dollar. All in. <laughs> That's right, Holly. That escalates thing, things quite uh, quite quickly. That's for sure. All out. Let's <laughs> call. And Rita coming in with the snipe at 31. Sniper alert, sniper alert, duck for cover. Rita at 31, looking for 32, 32. Do we have 32? And TJ is out. Rita at 31. Going one. Going twice now. We have Rita at 31 looking for 32 for the BU 1922 piece dollar. All in. All out. And sniper alert TJ coming back at 32. He said he was out. But not so fast. TJ is back in. And Rita coming back at 33. Rita at 33. Looking for 34. 34. Do we have 34? And thank you, Hidden. I appreciate that. You know, there's always a couple in the bunch. Uh, you know, but, you, you know, anyone, whether you like it or not, any reaction is better than no reaction. So you are entitled to your opinions. But thank you so much for looking out for me, Hidden. And TJ says, I'm really out. I hate doing that. I'm going to make a drink. Wishing you well. All right. We have Rita at 33. 
TJ's going to make a drink, or is he? We are looking for 34. Going once. Going twice now. We have Rita at 33, looking for 34. All in. All out. Last call. And so to Rita for $33. Congratulations, Rita. But wait, here's what we're going to do. To give an opportunity for TJ to obtain a piece dollar, a BU piece dollar, we're going to bring the price point down to $32. So we have two available. Rita, one is yours, and I will give an opportunity to TJ to obtain one at the $32 price point as well. So TJ, you let me know. Please confirm if that's something that you would like to do. But congratulations to Rita. That is uh, $32. And you will receive jackpot entry number 24. And TJ, if you are interested, you will also receive a jackpot entry. So just let me know if that's something that you're interested in. If not, we can make it available to someone else. It is completely up to you. All right. So we're going to add this to Rita's wallet. And TJ says, oh, sure. Why not toss her in the bag? All right, TJ. So you have received, you will receive one at the $32 price point. And your jackpot entry is number 71. So that's 71 for TJ. Good luck. And we're going to add that to your wallet. Here is the 1922 piece dollar. When I can, I definitely like to roll back the prices when I do, when I am able to. All right, guys. Item number 25. Item number 25 is a 1780 restrike, one failure. This is 83.3% silver, and the weight is 28 grams. And these are some very, very cool. Wow, dude, you look absolutely beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> I like making outfits out of scarves. That's right. Very stylish. All right. So the starting bid here is $20 for the 1780 Austria one Thaler restrike. Once again, 83.3% silver, 28 grams. And we have Holly starting us off at 20. This coin easily goes for upwards of $25. And here is the reverse. We have Holly Webb at 20, looking for 21. Going once. Adam A says, Saka, you won't believe me. I found 11 San Antonio Missions W quarters in five rolls with one roll containing six of them. They were mixed in with Philly minted San Antonio. That is awesome, Adam A. Congratulations on the finds. I definitely believe that, uh, you know, some rolls 
you can find, you know, as much as 10 in a row if you're lucky. Uh, I've seen people come up with six or seven. Myself, I've found maybe six or seven in a row at one point. But that is sweet, Adam. You keep them coming. That is impressive. We have Dave Kenworthy at 21. Dave at 21, looking for 22, 22. Do we have 22? This is a 1780 Austria one Thaler restrike. 0.833 fine silver. And we have Silverfish at 22. Silverfish at 22, looking for 23, 23. Do we have 23? This is item number 25 out of 30 items. We have Silverfish at 22 going once. And the date would not, well, this is not a, re, this is a restrike. So it is not the original version of it, but I believe, I can't get a close up on that. I'm not sure if the date would be present on this. Oh, here it is. 1780. There's the date right there on the top there. We have Silverfish at 22 going twice now and we have dave coming in at 23 dave coming in at 23 looking for 24 24 we have 24 back and forth they go dave versus silverfish Twenty-three looking for 24 going one Going twice now, and Silverfish with a sniper alert, duck for cover. Silverfish coming in at 25 now. 25, looking for 26, 26. Do we have 26? Michael M. says, is, is it a thing there in New York to go strawberry picking during the summer? I think Gigi would love it if it was a thing. Whether it's a thing or not, I think Gigi would like it as well. She is a big fan of strawberries, so I am going to look into that. Uh, um, people go ap ap apple picking, they go pumpkin picking, they go, you know, strawberry picking, I'm sure. I've never gone strawberry picking before. We have gone pumpkin pick picking. So I think uh, strawberry picking would be a great idea for Gigi. We have a uh, $25 bid for Silverfish. We are looking for 26 for the 1780 Austria one Thaler restrike. Oh. Lynn. All out. Last call. And so to Silverfish for $25. Congratulations, Silverfish. That is a great deal. And we are going to add that to your wallet. Congratulations. That's $25 for Silverfish. And you will receive jackpot entry number 25 for a chance to win the 1921S Morgan dollar. And it is in there. All right. Silverfish gaining some momentum here. All right, guys. Before we move on to the dessert menu, we're going to pull up a random comment picker. And we're going to do some random comment pickers. Uh, we'll do two random comment pickers. Now, if you do have a wild account, you do not need to be present. Uh, that's just for time's sake. Uh, if you have a wild account, then you do not have to be present to accept the entries. All right. So that's going to be something 
that we're going to uh, keep going. That way uh, we don't take too much time doing the random comment pickers. So the video should be, uh, let's see if um, it is the previous auction, this past Sunday's auction video. You can find the link in the description of the video if you scroll down past the auction menu. So, so uh, I'm going to pull up. There's only 19 comments on it. So if you haven't yet done so, uh, maybe one of the mods can uh, pull up the uh, random comment picker free giveaway link. That way everyone can join. But for the first entry... And there is the link. Michael M. has just posted the link. Thank you, Michael M. So make sure you guys go over there and leave a comment on that video. And this is for two entries into the jackpot for a chance to win the 1921 Morgan dollar. All right. We'll try refreshing one more time. All right, here we go. We're going to do two, two winners. And the winner is Jimmy. Jimmy, are you here, brother? Jimmy, you have a wild account, so you are good to go. Jimmy says, hey, Soccer Bluff, I just wanted to say thank you again. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me in your live stream. It's always a pleasure hanging out. Well, Jimmy, it is great to have you, brother. I appreciate you taking the time to join us on stream. So, Jimmy, your jackpot entries will be number 68 and number 66 number 68 and number 66 for jimmy all right we're gonna do one more random comment picker that way those that are experiencing lag can uh try to win here all right, let's uh, refresh. We have 29 unique comments, and this is for two entries. Normally, I wait till the end of the stream, but what the heck? Let's switch it up here. And Will Hornbuckle, Will Hornbuckle, you have won two more entries. And Will, you have a, you don't just have a wallet, you have an extra fat wallet over here. So, Will, congratulations. You will receive two more jackpot entries. That is number 92 and number 63 for Will. 92 and 63 for a chance to win the Morgan dollar. Good luck. All right, let's take a look here. We're going to move on to the dessert menu. And Will says, give one of those to my boy D-Dub. So we're going to give number 63 to D-Dub, courtesy of Will. So let's put 63 here for D-Dub. That's courtesy of Will. So, Will, that is no longer your entry. That is now D-Dub's entry, courtesy of Will. So very cool of you to do that, Will. All right, next up. Next up is a 2020 South Korea Chi Wu Xian Wang. Three nine fine silver. And this is the newest South Korea coin. And it has the security features on it now. So that's what they seem to be doing. You can see the three nines fine there. Starting bid here is $20. And we have Henry at 22. 22 looking for 23. 23 do we have? 23. Holly at 23. Henry bringing it to 24. 24 looking for 25. 25 do we have? 25. For the Chi Wu Jian Wang. And Silver Sacks coming in at 25. 25 looking for 26. 26. Do we have 26? 
such a cool design on this coin. South Korea silver is definitely something that I enjoy obtaining. We have silver sags at 25, looking for 26. And on Appmex, they're going for, um, I believe, I want to say 28 to 29 dollars before taxes and shipping. Silver Sacks at 25. We have D Dub at 26. Rita coming in at 27. Rita at 27. Looking for 28. 28. Do we have 28? And Henry coming in at 28. Henry at 28. Looking for 29. 29. Do we have 29 for the Chi Woo? Going once. Going twice now. We have Henry at 28 looking for 29. And we have Rita is out. All in. All out. Last call. And so to Henry for twenty eight dollars. We are getting some great deals on these one-ounce bullion coins tonight, guys. Congratulations, Henry. That's $28. You will also receive jackpot entry number 26. Congratulations. Very, very cool. That is jackpot entry number 26. And, Henry, we will add that to your wallet. All right, let's take a look here. Moving right along. Item number 27. Now, this I almost kept for myself. I really did. This is absolutely stunning. This is a 1937 France. 20 francs. 68% silver coin. And this has a weight of 20 grams i mean this is a a beautiful design we have aunt frey at 20 Aunt frey getting us started at 20 dollars holly webb at 25 hidden at 26 looking for 27 27 we have 27 henry says thank you is my wallet fat enough to ship that it that it is my friend Henry, your wallet is ready for ship if you would like. So, of course, once we uh, clear out the, uh, the auction invoice, I can ship it and have it ready uh, for Monday. And this is the reverse here. And we have... Hidden at 26. And we are looking for 27. Going once. Going twice now. And Aaron getting the bid in before Dave at 27. Aaron at 27, looking for 28, 28. Do we have 28? I want to get some nice close-ups on this coin if I can, guys. Such a beautiful coin. I think more so the design gets me than anything else. We have... Aaron at 27, and we are looking for 28. 
going once. Going twice now. And we have Dave with the sniper alert. Sniper alert. The for cover. Dave coming in at 28. Dave at 28. Looking for 29. 29. Do we have 29? I think that's probably what it is, Henry. I definitely think that's the resemblance of the barber uh, half dollar probably is what makes it so appealing to me. But I, I really enjoyed this design. And we have Aaron at 29. Back and forth they go. Aaron at 29 looking for 30, 30. Do we have 30? 29 looking for 30, 30. Do we have 30? For the 1937, 20 francs, 68% silver. Going once. Going twice now. And Dave taking it to 30. Back and forth battle. We have Aaron versus Dave for the first time on World Coin Auction History. And Aaron is out. Dave at 30, looking for 31, 31. Do we have 31? Going once. Going twice now. This is a 1937. 20 francs from France. 68% silver coin. We have Dave at 30. We are looking for 31. All in, all out, last call, and so to Dave Kenworthy, congratulations, Dave, you have a beautiful coin heading your way, my friend. Such a lovely design as well. I really enjoy it, and I know you will enjoy it as well. Congratulations, Dave. That is $30, and you will see receive jackpot entry number 27. Jackpot entry number 27, and it is in there good luck all right dave and dave uh we can reactivate your wallet if you like just let me know for now let's bag it and tag it that is 30 for the 1937 20 francs. Very, very cool coin. All right. We're going to move on to item number 28. Item number 28. All right, Dave, we will reactivate your wallet. Item number 28 is a 2019 two ounce Australia silver crocodile. This is two ounces of four nines fine silver. And starting bid of $20, uh, $40. Now here on the queen's face, you can see there's a scuff there, so make sure you guys take that into consideration when bidding. Either way, in pretty good shape. I'm not seeing any dings on the rim. And on the crocodile side, looks pretty good to me as well. Yeah, sometimes that happens. You know, when I see that, it reminds me of the uh, W quarters. 
you know, they'll be in a BU role and they'll still have those scuffs from time to time. So, you know, although this did this was sold to me as BU, these kind of things can happen from time to time. And we have Silver Sacks at 46, just edging out D Dub. We have Silver Sacks at 46, looking for 47. <laughs> Rita says, What are those Crocs doing? That's a great question, Rita. I mean, the claw is dangerously close to the eyeball, which is kind of making me a little uneasy. And we have D Dub at 47, looking for 48. This is a 2019 two ounce Australia silver crocodile, four nines fine silver. D dub at 47. Going one. Going twice now. We have D Dub at 47, and we are looking for 48 for the 2019 two ouncer. All in. All out. Last call. And so to D Dub for forty seven dollars. Congratulations, D Dub. That's the going rate. That is the going price, my friend. So very, very good deal there, D Dub. You will also receive jackpot entry number 28. And new Marshall in town is in the building. What is going on, brother? I am so happy to see you. I hope all is well. How about that, guys? Freaky, freaky Friday night with new Marshall in town. New Marshall was one of the day ones on my channel. And it is always great to see him on stream whenever he can make it. So thank you, New Marshall, for joining us tonight. And we have D-Dub taking home the two-ounce silver crocodile. So congratulations, D-Dub. All right. All right, we have two more items remaining, guys. Two more items remaining, and then we will find out who the winner of the 1921S Morgan dollar is. It's time for the gold. Lot number 29 is a 1999 one-tenth ounce American gold eagle and the starting bid is $200. Now, this was in a uh, MS-65 gradable uh, case. However, because it wasn't graded by PCGS or NGC, I refused to uh, use the grade. This is clearly BU, but I did not want to put a specific grade on it. It, on the case, it just had MS-65 slash MS-65 American gold one-tenth ounce. So it could have just been a custom uh, case on there. Either way, it was not an official grading service, which is why I refused to uh, keep that in there. And we have Silver Sacks at 205. Silver Sacks at 205 for the one tenth ounce gold. And we're going to give this lot number 29 its uh, 
it's due time here. Absolutely gorgeous. Reminds me of Mrs. Plata. Mrs. Plata's hair is down to her to to almost her knees, almost the back of her her knees. That's how long her hair is. Uh, she has cut it since then, so it's not as long. But every time I look at this, I, I show Mrs. Plata and I say, "They put you on a coin, honey." <laughs> All right, we have Silver Sacks at 205 going once. Going twice now. We have Silver Sacks at 205. We are looking for 210. Uh, Silver Sacks, we have you at 205, my friend. So, uh, Silver Sacks, you're at 205. And now we have TJ at 210. Silver Sacks at 215. TJ at 220. This escalated quickly. 1999, one tenth ounce American Gold Eagle in BU condition. And we have Silver Sacks coming in at 225. 225 looking for 230 now. 225 looking for 230. 230. Do we have 230? I'm going to be up till 230 tonight. <laughs> Silver Sacks at 225. Going once. Going. Twice now. Uh, Michael M., I did not keep the holder. It was a generic holder, so I never want to use it. And it's probably going to be more of an issue if I choose to ship it because of the added weight. So I just chose to dispose of it. And we have Silver Sacks at 25 looking for uh, 225 looking for 230. For the 1999 one tenth ounce American Gold Eagle, here we go. All in. All out. Last call. And. So to Silver Sacks, congratulations, Silver Sacks. You have won the one tenth ounce American Gold Eagle. That's 225. And you will receive jackpot entry number 29. Incredible. And you are going to be very happy with the condition of this gold coin, my friend. It is a stunner. So let's add that to Silver Sax's wallet, which is in very nice shape, by the way. All right. And Scott Jarvie, just remind me to show you your wallet before the stream is up. I did see that uh, comment scroll down. All right. What's going on, Metal Detecting UK with Metal Detectives of Dorset? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for joining us on this freaky, freaky Friday night. We have the ginger ale, and we are ready to get into the final item of the night. Item number 30. Uh, we can check that for you, Michael M. Item number 30 is the 10-ounce Aztec calendar, three nines fine silver bar. And, guys, this, my friends, 
is heavier than it looks. Ten ounces of three nines fine silver. These are going for upwards of two hundred and twenty-five dollars online. That's before taxes, and uh, I believe shipping would be free, but the taxes would definitely bump the the final price up quite a bit. So the starting bid here is $220 for this brick of silver. 10 ounce chunky one. And I'm going to constantly switch from hand to hand because it is quite heavy. Do we have any takers? For the 10 ounce Aztec calendar round, you guys are more than welcome to look it up. The starting bid price point is right where you would expect it to be in comparison. So the starting bid is 220. The starting bid is 220 silver sacks. All right, and we have a $220 bid for silver sacks. $220 looking for $225 for the chunky one. 10 ounces of silver. Going once. Going twice now. And phrase says it's 247 on SD Bullion. Thank you for that information, Aunt Frey. And we have silver sacks at 220, looking for 225. All in. All out. Last call. And. So to Silver Sacks for the opening bid of $220. Silver Sacks, you have gotten a great deal, my friend. Congratulations. The only question I have for you <laughs> is do you want one or do you want two? I do have two available. Uh, it is completely up to you, though, Silver Sacks. I would gladly keep one in my collection. And Silver Sacks, this is such a, a beautiful, beautiful 10-ouncer. Uh, Incredible. And the calendar may not be as accurate as you would hope it would be. Then again, I don't think we would hope for it to be accurate because that would mean the end of the world uh, took place several years ago. All right, so silver sacks. Yeah, I thought it was the other way around too, silver sacks. I thought it would have been more of a battle for the 10-ouncer than the uh, one-tenth ounce gold. <laughs> All right, Silver Sacks. Well, congratulations. 220 is a great deal. You can check and compare prices. You definitely got one of the better deals that you'll see anywhere. So congratulations, Silver Sacks. And you will receive jackpot entry number 30. We are also going to enter 20 and 29 because we failed to do so after the... Uh, 28 and 29 lot items. So it is in there. 
All right, let's add this to Silver Sachs's, uh wallet, which is now at least 10 ounces heavier. All right, guys, we have the giveaway. 1921 S Morgan Silver Dollar. <laughs> D-Dub says, I can take the other one on the payment plan, LOL. Can I apply for a soccer flop of Visa? Uh, D-Dub, if you want it, uh, it's yours for 220 Just let me know. If you want to reach out to me behind the scenes, you can do that as well. All right, guys, let's take a look here. Now, there is a piece of gold still here. Why is this here? Well, it's because this piece of gold will be given away to somebody out there once I reach 1,000 subscribers. So once I reach 1,000 and once Fiera Coins reaches 500, we will uh, give this away to somebody. And guys, we have the gold giveaway video. It is buried. Uh, I do have to go ahead and pull up the link and, and maybe do a, uh, a reminder video. But yes, this giveaway has been going on since I was at 500 subscribers so we are nearly at 700 subscribers and i am looking to give this away for free as long as my goals and viewers goals are reached which is the subscriber count of 1500 respectively so guys if you can help us get there it would be greatly appreciated that way we can give this away to, to one of you and michael m has posted the uh gold giveaway video if you have yet to comment on there make sure you comment on that link that's the 1k giveaway thank you so much for that michael m and uh if you leave a uh a comment on that video and on vera coins uh video you will be entered to win the second that we achieve those goals Uh, so addicted, I'm not even, uh, wait, let's see. Oh, I see. So if I, if I turn the ads on, you know, that is a good point. If it's going to generate more, more traffic and subscribers, then that's something I will look into and consider. All right, D-Dub, no problem. Absolutely. Well, I, there's nothing little about you, Will, especially your wallet. Your wallet is quite chunky, my friend. You have a very nice wallet filled of uh, sterling silver and of silver coinage. All right. Uh, and Orta, the 1904 Barber Half Dollar was won by Henry for $23. That makes sense, though, Addicted. Thank you for the information. And guys, it is jackpot prize time. So let's pan this back. What we'll do is we'll play one last game for two more entries. Oh, excuse me. The ginger ale's creeping up on me, guys. We're going to play one more game for two more entries, and then we will pull a winner. A word that rhymes with bank, and please keep it clean, guys. <laughs> a word that rhymes with bank for the final two entries of the night. What's going on? Paul Hampton's in the building. Good to see you, Paul. Hope you're doing well. All right, we have a winner, 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 chicken dinner. Stop in the name of love before you break my heart. We have a winner, 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 chicken dinner, and it's not even close. The winner is Scott Jarvey. Scott Jarvey, the answer was blank. Blank was the correct answer, so Scott Jarvey you will receive the final two entries 
And those entries are 86 and 85. So congratulations to Scott, 86 and 85, and they are in there. All right. And we did do the random common pickers uh, in between the auctions. I do like to switch it up occasionally. That way, those that are present are rewarded. And uh, so we did do the random comment pickers. But we're giving away a 1921S Morgan Silver Dollar. All right. <laughs> Silver Sacks. All right. Here we go. Headphone disclaimer alert. This will be quite loud. Mrs. Flop is in the building. Would you like to do the honors, Mrs. Flop? All you have to do is pull a number out of the jackpot box. Show those lovely hands. Here we go. All right, Mrs. Flopper is pulling a number. And number 31. Number 31. We are searching. We are looking. And the winner is Henry. Congratulations, Henry. You had about 53 entries in the jackpot. And you did win here. 1921S for Henry. Congratulations, Henry. That was number 31 out of many entries. What's going on, EMP? EMP's in the building. Good to see you, EMP. Hope you're doing well, and I hope that you're ready for tomorrow night's fight because that is going to be legendary. All right. Silver Sack says, Henry, I didn't think you had a snowball's chance of winning. Me either. Who would have thought with 45 entries that Henry would have any shot? <laughs> And Rita says that she wants to see Mrs. Plata's hair. <laughs> Let's see. Can we, make, can we do it? Try. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no worries, EMP. I just hope that you're doing well out there, brother. All right. Let's see. Oh, my hair. Mrs. Plata's hair. Let's see how far we can. Wait. Wait, move that way. <laughs> move this way. So we can, like, see here. Well, you can't really get the length on yeah. there. You can't really get the. You can't. My yeah. Well, yeah. Her hair is very, very long. <laughs> Gigi wants to show us. <laughs> Gigi's hair is going to be very long as well. All right. So congratulations to Henry. Henry, that was awesome. I'm glad it went to you. You did. Put a ton of uh, entries into uh, into tonight's jackpot. So, thank you so much for the support. Now, I do want to ask one question here: Is Alistair Black in the building? Is Alistair Black in the building? Because I want to extend one final flash sale to you guys before we wrap things up. Silver Sacks says, I think Sokka is jealous of hair. Actually, if it wasn't if it wasn't Mrs. Flopper's hair, then maybe Silver Sacks. Maybe. <laughs> but it's pretty much my hair because I wake up and it's all over my face in the morning. I go to sleep. It's in my ears. It's it's suffocating me around my neck. So uh, yes, uh, it is pretty much like my own hair. <laughs> all right. Addicted, let's get you a total, brother. Uh, let's get the uh, calculator here. So I don't believe Alistair is in the building, but we're going to uh, have to reach out to him. All right, let's see here.
All right, so. Addicted to stacks. You had to buy it now for the Franklins. That's uh, times one. So you know what, Addicted? What I'll do is I can always send you the invoice if, if that's okay. Or I can email you the total uh, after the stream. That way I'm not holding everyone up. So guys, if you do want a total, uh, I will uh, email you guys. Or you can email me if you want to inquire about the total. Uh, but normally, if I don't receive payments during the uh, duration of the stream, I will send an invoice within 24 hours. So, all right, Addicted, I will, e I will email you the total. And Holly Webb, I can do that for you as well after the stream. And thank you for understanding. So Michael M. and Scott Jarvie want to see their wallets. Uh, so let's pull up Michael M.'s and Scott Jarvie's wallet. All right, Scott Jarvie. Scott Jarvie, are you here? Scott Jarvie, here is your wallet, my friend. You have some ounces of silver. You have the Saka Plata Ultimate Grab Bag. And some other items in there as well. And let's take a look at Michael M's wallet. Michael M's wallet. Oh, Michael M. Michael M. Michael M's wallet. Very, very sneaky. All right, you have you have more than four items. You have a 1943 war nickel and face reveal. All right. Uh, the sticker is from is from uh, great president uh, Nelly Jelly Coins. Nelly Jelly Coins is the sticker. Uh, Hidden, I'm sorry, your name was not called, my friend. If it was, you definitely would have won, whether you were here or not. But unfortunately, your name was not called, my friend. All right, guys. Before we wrap things up. Now, Alistair Black won this item for $35. So I do want to um, change that for him since he's not here. But we have some Murder Hornets here available. We have some Murder Hornets here available. $25 a piece. If anyone is interested, speak now. And let me know how many, if any, you would like. And we're going to adjust uh, Alistair Black's total as well. That's cool. I like them. Yes, the murder hornets are, are very cool. And you have one, Gigi. Did I give you one? No. Yes. Yeah. It's right here. It was on the table. Okay. All right, Scott Jarvey, we will gladly do that. So $25 a piece for the Murder Hornets if you guys are interested. If so, I can also correct Alistair's uh, price point as well. And that's right, Michael Lem. I cannot be held responsible if the Murder Hornet decides to attack. All right, so guys, uh, just put buy it now. That way I can uh, organize it. $25. John Scott says I'll get one. We have John Scott. Buy it now. One. And we have Brad Burge. Buy it now. One. We have Henry. Buy it now. One. Hidden, did you say you wanted one as well? All right, let's see here. And then I want to make sure I put Alistair on the list here. That way I can adjust it. That's right, the alleged murder hornets. So that's, once again, guys, that's $25. All right, hidden, 
buy it now. One, you got it, brother. Yeah, I think we can squeeze it in there, Henry, ever so gently, though. We definitely don't want to do any damage to your coins. All right, so just to recap, I have John Scott, buy it now, one. I have Brad Burge, buy it now, one. Henry, buy it now, one. Hidden, buy it now, one. Is there anyone else? Uh, TJ says, Saka Plata, I received my package today. Thank you. I have to say you all have the best packaging of all YouTube auctions and most online bullion dealers. Great job. Much love to you all. Thank you so much, TJ. That really means a lot to me because I make it, uh, you know, my priority to not only ship very quickly, but to ship efficiently and safely. Uh, as if I was ordering, I would want it to be to to uh, I would want to receive my package, uh, you know, safely. Sometimes I may over protect the coins, but better safe than sorry, I always say. But I, I'm glad to hear that, TJ. Thank you, and I appreciate uh, you saying that. Dennis says, Saka Plata, as usual, awesome auction, and congrats to all the item winners. Must go now. You take care and be safe, and see you on the next one. Dennis, you're always so helpful on the streams, brother. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed yourself, and uh, we will see you on the next one on Tuesday night. So you have a great weekend, my friend. All right, Scott Jarvie says, I will buy it now. So buy it now, one. And that is, once again, $25 for the Murder Hornets. And that is for today and for today only. What's going on, you see? All right, TJ, you have a great night. Guys, you are amazing. Thank you guys so much for the support. Uh, I had a great time, as always. It is always fun, and it, what a great way to end the Friday night stream. Let's see here. Holly Webb, you have a great night, Holly Webb. Silver Sacks, have a great night. Aunt Frey 302. Now, guys, the after party, hold on. The after party, Mickey Robs Banks. Let's raid Mickey Robs Banks stream. So, guys, if you're not doing anything, please hop over to Mickey Robs Banks' channel. Let's go keep the uh, Friday night party going. Yes. I'm not sure. Oh, yes. Mickey is live, and he's doing a late night flash after party auction. So, guys, hop over to Mickey Robs Banks. He is doing a flash auction right now, and tell him I sent you. And I'll try to hop on for a few, but I highly doubt it because uh, I want to be able to spend some time with the family before we call it a night. But I'll, I may pop in just to say hello. Thank you guys so much for the support. Make sure you hop over to Mickey Rob's Banks. And I will see you guys on the next stream on Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Take care, everybody.